Strikers, the average winning score batting first, 164. Okay, so it's okay. a little bit less. Yeah. less. And an interesting stat too on the toss. In BBL 6, of teams that won the toss and chose to bat, there were seven of them. How many wins do you reckon they had? Six. None. Ooh. Seven times. That's bad guess, wasn't it? Won the toss. It's it was horrific. <laughs> the Thunder improve on it tonight on what you've just provided, but it's <laughs> Jake Weatherill. He was my tip for the, the, the bolter out of the blue. He's going to be the rising either, star. Gilly. It's a good tip at this stage. Jason Green. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good tip at this stage. Yeah, well, you're not, you're you not right or wrong. Up. You're not right or wrong, are you? <laughs> he had a good warm-up, though. He hit him well. But Chris Green or Bowl really fought the stumps. That's what he tended to yep. do. He doesn't try and spin the ball. He mainly flat through the, the air and, and nice and full. Yeah. Mid on back. Yeah, and a deep mid-wicket. Mid oh, waiting. He's done a good job, hasn't it, over the last couple of years? Last he always gets one or two in the power play. Yeah. Well, I think he took seven wickets last year, along with uh, Farwood. They were the leading wicket takers. For. Doesn't get hit for a lot of boundaries. No. Bowls to his field. That's his thing. Doesn't do a lot with it, but bowls straight and full. Tony in each innings in the Shield game over in the West. Did Weatherall in Sheffield Shield season. So he'll be uh, feeling good about the way he's going about it this season, too. So he bowled seven overs last year for just 34 runs. Picked up one wicket. You'd take that in the power play. Mm. Well, I heard you would. Oh, and the first shot with a bit of risk but a bit of aggression and it brings about the opening boundary. The crowd love it. First over complete. The strikers are away. None for five. We can cross continents and time zones. The mere touch of a button. The moment the game changes is the moment we see it. I miss nothing. We are members of the world's favourite online sports betting company and we gamble responsibly at Bet365. Lead to the Adelaide Oval around Big Bash time. Look at this crowd piling in. It's a sea of blue out there. Walking Just great across. atmosphere, isn't it? Walking across. It's a beautiful night. All the strikers fan, and it's striking blue, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah. a great yeah. uniform. The only lime green shirts I've seen are the security guards. They've got their <laughs> vests on. They are the only ones in the whole ground. I believe you might be wearing a light green vest tonight. I should have brought one. And I'm just sweating. I think into the attack ball beautifully. Spot the stadium first up. Got a couple of wickets. A big fella, big unit. Really had a good change of pace. That's a good length ball carry. Nice drive on the up, no run. This pitch is going to be a beauty to bat on. I reckon you're going to need a lot of runs. How close was Kerry in the selection discussions? He was, was he in contention? In the top six, Gilly, that's all I can give top you. Top six keepers. Yeah, six keepers in call. Australia. Narrows it down. Wow. He's definitely on the radar. We know that yeah. uh, fine young keeper. I think yeah. he took 54 dismissals last season. Yep. Yeah. Record number. And it's Josh Butler, the Englishman, keeping for the Thunder. And I must say, you haven't gone too far wrong picking Tim Payne. So well done. Thank you. And again, again, leg side, there'll be a leg bite. What I did like, Gilly, was for a few players who are unlucky not to play, they've been performing at shield yeah, level, though. Like they? playing Maxwell and mm. yep, well, Alex Carey see. close. He scored his last 100, 139 in the last shield game yep. against Queensland. So as a selector, you want to see that. That's you, what Jim? you want to see. You want to see performances and you want to have options available, don't you? You don't want to see players not making runs. So excellent stuff. Now, Laurie Colliver's given me some stats. But Jake Weatherall, when he faces left arm fast mediums, he's faced 10 balls last year and scored eight runs but was dismissed twice Ooh. who got him Dorsius and and Willie. And David Willie they got a lot of wickets in his first over he lost into the game early there it's just a bit too straight two legs side and it's worked out into that open region and oh good work down there forward Ahmed and Aiden Blizzard does the clean up work it's three at the moment I'm sure umpire Greg Davison will go upstairs and just check it out yeah, well chased by him. He's not the quickest, but he no. hurtled after that. Didn't, didn't he? Up, did he? he? Wanted it. And then he did he push the rope further back and then um was no, well done. That's well fine, done. that's okay. Good work. A bit of diving on the nice outfield. Saved a single, every run's uh, important in T20s. Good start by Weatherall. Nice yeah. trip off the pads to, to both um, the spinners and the quicks. Well, well I think well, he can do that too because there was no spin and there looks like there's no swing early. Mm. We'll keep an eye on these stats too about runs saved. We're going to get Laurie Colliver and 
all over it to work out uh, how many runs have been given up by way of misfields as opposed to work like that that you've saved. We'll that's, see the end result. That's tonight. an interesting one there, Gilly, because he actually moved the rope and you can you can see the line where the rope is. Okay. Yep. But it didn't didn't get to the line, so it's okay. You watch so he moves the rope and you'll see a line underneath yeah. there. See the white line? Does it get to it? Or? No, it doesn't. No, it pulls up short. So. Oh, well, well, good. Oh! It does uh, it? Yes. Oh, but it's, his foot. It's the oh, his hang foot. on. Putting surface. His foot, and then Blizzard picks Ooh. the ball up. So that's... I wonder if they know that rule. They probably don't. It's a tough one. That's, that's a... hard to call, isn't it? Just Might be got cool. Ahead, yeah, I reckon it's cool. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, I didn't, I didn't realise that rule either, actually. You swooped on it there like a well, seagull well, on they a kept, they, kept, they kept replaying, so... But unfortunately... Aiden Blizzard probably didn't know the rule. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't well, really you, stop to think about that. You think be all because the rope's the moved back, well, that's that's the boundary. Well, it's a boundary at the end of the day. So whether or facing the plane again. Ooh, then given the fingers went up in that commentary box, and so too Greg Davison. Well, what a play that was. There you go. He you should have been on strike in some lines. He was, and he's gone. Three yeah. for 12 off 11 balls now to left arm fast <laughs> mediums. 11, uh, run, uh, 12, 12 runs, three wickets. And have a look at, I thought, Ooh. on the Bunnings Warehouse replay, it looked pretty adjacent. Oh, yeah. That's you can out. see leg stump. I don't think it's going over. No. So. Mitch McLaren are doing it again. Genuine wicket taker. Finger going up. Jake Weatherall, he's got to go. Certainly a big breakthrough. And there goes my rising star, too. He goes early. <laughs> Weatherall gone for seven. The strikers, one for 13. Bet Boost from William Hill lets you decide which odds you want to boost. All you need to do is select your market, go to your bet slip, Hit boost and then place your bets at the boosted price. Don't wait for enhanced or crowd-led prices. We're giving you your own bet boost every day to use on any sport. More choice, more control, and now available on Google Play. William Hill. This is more. The new captain of the Adelaide Strikers, Travis Head, won the toss, elected to bat. He's a fine young talent from that uh, very broad talent pool in Australian cricket. And he's worked his heroics here in previous uh, big bashes. And you want to get going now. So three lefties at the top of the order. Been a good touch too, Travis Head in uh, Shield cricket, as has Jake Lehman. So they've got a lot of players who have been in form in red ball cricket, and they're all, they're all dashes, really. They all score quickly. Look, bit of bottom hand, but he gets himself yeah. off strike. Reasonable pace for McClanagan, you know, just in the, the 130s, but he's got a nice high release. And later on in the innings, he'll change it up. But I think you want to be using this hard white cooker bar at the moment. You said the pitch was hard. There Very hard. A little bit of pace and bounce. There should be. There'll be pace, that's right. New ball will skid through. He's a wicket taker, McClanagan, isn't he? He's, you know, he just mixes his pace up, mixes his lengths. There's a bit of grunt about him. He's aggressive. Big unit. It's a hush around the ground. Oh, that's very straight again from McLennigan. It'll just be one to carry, so it closes out of an eventful second over. One for 12. And the previous over is this effort from Farwood Ahmed. Aiden Blizzard picked up. Look at his left foot. It touched where the rope would have been. That was then signalled for. Jake Weatherall was told to go back down and get on strike. Very next delivery. Plum in front. He's no longer out in the middle. So uh, a big change in events there for the left-hand opening batsman from the strikers. He's back watching now. And we're back live here. Chris Green set to continue. Against Alex Carey. Tough start here for the strikers. It's dragged down and hammered, but very well done there. Why McLennigan? Can't keep him out of the game. 
That's so important, isn't it? Just that fielding in the inner circle and the faster bowlers. Generally, you'll get them in the outfield early, but they're doing a good job. So you'd that think, was four up the pace. Yeah, so you'd think that's a plus three there to McLennigan. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep a bit Loz of a, get that an down. eye on that. Loz will give us an update on who's done what. And what happened to Farwad, though? He saved one, yeah, we had him. but then Blizzard... Took it off Took him. it off uh, him. Well, what happens there, Gil? Plus one All for square. Blizzard. All square for those two. We'll uh, plus one for forward. Travis Head now. And straight a man out there in that exact deep mid-wicket position. It's interesting because Shane Watson doesn't often bowl his new ball bowlers two in a row. Yeah. He normally rotates through the bowlers, but he's given Chris Green another one, possibly because there's two left-handers at the crease. Yep. So just changing it up a little bit as Watson. Down the track, oh, with great conviction. Terry gets his four runs I'm just on the board. It's a good shot. I'm just wondering whether Curtis Patterson was out of position in mid-off. He's so wide there. Yeah. I just don't know how that's gone for four. Well, that's a, a planned field position, but, geez, he's so wide at mid-off. Well, if he's not spinning it, Junior, wouldn't you want him straighter? Yeah, he's... If you're going to bowl full, he's... Way too wide, I reckon. Short again. Finnegan, repeat. Previous couple of deliveries. And Flemo, you've got your hat-trick tonight. Last couple of nights. Yes. Third third in a row. Third game here at the Adelaide. You've, yeah, you've one game. almost had a hat-trick in Test cricket here once, didn't you? Well, don't bring it up. <laughs> Not going there. There's only two balls left, out, by the way. Too. Oh, hooked away to the leg side. Just a couple of bounces. Second boundary of the over. This is good work from Carey. Just on that um, potential hat trick, yeah. how would that be measured in the new fielding ratio? By a broken heart emoji. Oh, thank right. you. <laughs> the way you were crying in the change rooms afterwards, but this is nice batting there from Not Carey. True. Not a lot of turn. No protection behind square on the leg side. I like what green. they've done. He doesn't get swept a lot, Green. Oh, well, that's a quick delivery, mm. Yorker. <laughs> Finish off the over after three, it's one for 22. I've heard things you wouldn't believe. I've spent my days with sultans and my nights with spies. Life's more interesting when you listen. Audible. Download your first audiobook for free. Back here at the Adelaide Oval. Beautiful evening. Perfect creating conditions. Just shy of 30 degrees. A little breeze. A great deal of anticipation around this crowd. Adelaide Strikers opening fixture in BBL 7. Andrew Feckety coming on for his first delivery of the evening. One for 37 in the opening match. A few nights ago up there at Spotless Stadium. 12 off his first over, but he recovered well. He's bowling to Travis Head, who hits aggressively through the covers region. And they don't come back. Yeah, lovely shot. It wasn't a half volley, but this pitch is so true. Hit that on the off. He's off. He's very strong through that offside. Travis Head just throws the hands at it. And Andrew Fegarty copped a bit of stick early on. As you say, it's spotless, and tonight's not the ideal way to start either. They tell me he's been bowling very well in the practice games and in the nets and impressing the, the whole setup at the, uh, the Thunder, so hopefully he can bounce back tonight. There's a hot zone for Travis Head between square leg and... Tell you what, his non-hot zone through the covers look good. <laughs> well, that, yeah, we saw a lot of that in that uh, New Year's Eve 100, didn't we? Well, he, he, that was his hot zone. Surprises me, because that... To, to my eye, that's his hot zone. Yeah, second hot zone. Out in the field, we've got Aiden Blizzard mic'd up. Blizz, welcome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, well done the other night in helping close out that uh, tight victory. Yeah, we limped over the line, but uh, <laughs> it was a good game for round one. It looked like a sprint from there, more than a limp yeah. at the end. <laughs> we were out of the blocks as quickly as we could in those last two, but all good. We got the points. Yeah, indeed you did. It's the perfect way to start at any T20 tournament. An opening win for Fekety. With again and just chop into the ground. Now, mate, you were just involved in a little piece of fielding out there. With it, all <laughs> intents and purposes, looked like you'd cleaned up beautifully. Do you know what you did wrong there? No, I'm still I'm a baffled, but um, we'll have a look now on the replay, I guess. Yeah, but, just um, look where your left foot lands. Put your foot on that no, I can't line. Stand. They've taken yeah. it off, I think. Okay. Uh, 
there's some good administrators and umpires in the game, and clearly I don't know the rules, so um, probably well, a fair game to it. <laughs> we, 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 it was on their putting green, and you put your feet just on the fringes. Oh, right. Look, um, you got your team a wicket, please. Fair game. Right. We got a wicket. Absolutely. <laughs> so we we're going to blame Fuzz for that, but um, I'll take it now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, it's well fielded by. Gibson there at point. Uh, Bliss, geez, it looks a good batting track so far. Yeah, it does. You see Trav hitting on the on the very up. I wouldn't say he's hitting on the up there. It was very up and um, nailed into the defence. So, um, look, I think they'll post a decent total and it's going to take some chasing by the looks of things. And Bliss, you're a high performance coach these days. Is that what you called on upon to get the Thunder home last game? Uh, yeah, look, I've um, been around for a while, so I need to figure my own game out eventually, and it's probably happened when I'm 33, but um, yeah, practice what you preach eventually, I think, the way it is. This has been a nice recovery here from Figure. And please, you batted the other night with the, the bat wrap around the, your bat. Yep. That's, uh, is there any difference in feel to how the ball comes off? Or no, look, there's no, as usual? no... There's no real difference in the feel. I think uh, maybe a psychological difference for... Maybe 2%, but I'm pretty yeah. open and comfortable with that. So, yeah. uh, look, it looks great. I think um, the kids will love it. So, yeah. very happy to get behind an initiative like that to um, keep engaging the younger kids coming through the game. It's, um, it's a great great thing for the game. Good on you, mate. We'll chat throughout the Cheers. night. Cheers, guys. Call well. See that bat wrap mm -hmm. later on tonight. It looks fantastic. <laughs> oh, punched Ooh. over the top. So, it was not all middle from Travis Head. It's a one to close out the fourth over. One for 27. With the Western Union app, it's easy to send money from here, there, or almost anywhere. And what's more, you can send money to a bank account from a zero transfer fee. Download the app today. The way the world moves money just got better. Well, as you're just tuning into your first big bash of BBL7, opening night, Shane Watson, 77 man of the match. It was a tight one. Marcus Stoinis run out agonisingly short on 99 as he tried to get the stars over the line, but the heat got up and then the Renegades, they were very impressive. Some old hands there. White, Hodge closed it out. Harris, he was terrific. But Dwayne Bravo, look at those bowling figures. The best ever by a Renegade. Took him over 400 T20 wickets from around the globe. What a superstar of this form of the game he is. Dwayne Bravo. So that's a little mini wrap there. The Thunder won, the Heat won, and then it was the Renegades. Who wins tonight? It's the Thunder down here in Adelaide taking on the Strikers. You're still involved, Flynn, with the Stars, mate? In some capacity there? Yeah, mate, but I'm just focusing on this game here, Governor. Stoinis was good, though. Oh, he was very good. Oh, we won't see a better losing innings ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's the way we normally start the Stars. I know, yeah, you start stars. slow and get into the Rattle tournament. home, don't you? McLennigan has swung around. And that's a great shot. Cut away for four. Yeah, I reckon that's pretty much his hot zone through there, Travis he's, said. Well, he's been given a lot of width already. And yeah, he can't face nine deliveries. You can't give him width because he just frees his arms and he just smacks it through there. Doesn't matter how many fields when you got there. Yeah. He hits it that hard, he'll find the gap. You can virtually have to bowl off stump or full stump. Any wider than that, you're going to pay. Yeah. Because there is no movement. There's more movement in on Mars. Here we go, here we go. Than this pitch tonight. <laughs> there's no swing, there's no seam. Oh, that's not the spot to ball. The dusty, dry old tracks on Mars, I would have thought. <laughs> now, gentlemen, um, we've talked about the action on the field. There's been a lot happening off the field. Yeah. And we, the social media has gone nuts. Jimmy Fallon's gone with it over oh. in America. One shirt is a hot topic in the Big Bash League right now. <laughs> it's our own Marky War. And some that. fans thought that this shirt looked familiar to Tom Hanks Run in for Forest Run. Gump. I'll get the, you got the same trousers on too. <laughs> Well, they have shorts on. Run, Junior, run. Good strip tonight, Junior. Yeah, yeah. Got, I think I've got you blokes covered tonight in the That's strip right. department. I think I've got the Sudoku. Just, you're sure playing, you're playing again, Gilly. You're playing last night, too. Out of blue. You were very plain last night, I thought. Was I? I wasn't on last night. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Must have been you before. Michael Ford is part of our coverage. Happy with your shirt, biologist? Oh, uh, yeah. You get a little check have. number on tonight. Yeah, I'll take this. I like a bit of variety. You might take that home, uh, a bit like my bowling, Vaughn. You like a bit of variety. Play yeah. noughts and crosses on there. You might take that home, that one. For, for, I'll do crop. Here we go. Ooh. But the story is you, Junior. When you're getting <laughs> Tom Hanks like publicity. Oh, there you go. How you, gonna, you could probably use this some way. Get yourself. Get a sponsorship. Sponsorship, but possibly, or get yourself into a TV series or, or what, neighbours or something talking like that. Of sponsorships. 
you yourself aired last night that there might be a potential endorsement opportunity for Ricky Ponty. Yes. His, his uh, non-sweat undergarment. Yes. No, no. The, I, I believe... Did you wear that tonight? You too? I believe there's been some movement on that. We'll just get through this delivery. Yep. Oh, that's good bowling, but well played. Carey digs out a full delivery. It looked like it was a perfect Yorker, but really dug deep and squeezed it back past the bowler for four. You see, about the same with all these left-handed Adelaide boys. They hammer it down. Well, they're left-handed for a start. Yeah, well, I did say that. You got Jake Lehman as well. Another lefty. Three fours of his last five deliveries. Alex Carey, so he's starting to really hop into his work. So, yeah, there's been uh, movement for Ricky Ponting in the uh, undergarment department. Oh, nearly bowling. What do you mean? Slim. I've had personally sent to me, personally endorsed and signed by R Ricky Ponting. Is that a first off? Look at that. Wow, that's... Well, that's so that the sponsorship's come through. Limited edition, Didn't I believe. say to Adam Best Wishes? No, it's a limited edition. Are you trialling it? I'm trialling it. It's a prototype. Moment. OK. Not yeah. bad, oh. not bad. A little no, bit of underarm, but not down here's good. Not down good. here's good, so... Keep an eye out for that. I don't Could know be what some he's beer if it's the first one. I reckon Punter's yeah. got enough sponsors, though, hasn't he? Frame it up and get it on Frame right. It up. Over four easy repayments. <laughs> Might need a wash after tonight in Adelaide. Do a few sponsors, Punter, haven't he? Already. <laughs> he's struggling, is he? <laughs> oh, heave to the leg side. It's over mid wicket. The deep man getting around, but won't get there. So 14 runs off the fifth over. It's the second last of the power play. One for 41. They're getting some momentum. City Adelaide is chopper over the Glenelg Beach near Henley Beach where the Australian Cricket Academy used mm. to be. Was that there when you were there, Jun uh, Junior? No, not no, back no. in 1968. <laughs> oh, who we got there? No, I wasn't down at Henley. What about you, Gil? No. No, <laughs> no I was living uh, down at Seaton. Seaton oh, Hotel. Okay. It was an interesting um, spot to live. Locks on the door. <laughs> Oh, no third man. He's up in the ring, so that's costly there for Feckety. Yeah, they're going hard this power play, aren't they? Head and carry. And rightly so, good pitch, field up. A little bit of luck, but uh, nice aggressive stroke. Oh, yeah, he went hard, there. went hard at it, didn't he? No hesitation. Yeah, Flem, I was living in the Seaton Hotel with uh, half the other squad. So we're Australian Institute of Sport athletes. Yeah. And after training, working so hard, for dinner, we'd go back to the front bar and have a counter meal. Yes. Schnitzel and chips. That's... No butter. <laughs> what no about butter any and beer? a Diet Coke. No beer? You're too young. No beer. Oh, no, we were old enough. Yeah, OK. But always a bit responsibly. The greyhounds as well. A little dish liquor. Shots. Oh, that is beautiful. That is crafty. It's that late. It was almost overdue there from Travis Head. Beautiful timing. There's been a bit of bottom hand power. And that's because the pitch is true, good bounce, yeah. there's no movement. That's class, Jim. It is class. I think Feckley's going to have to think about coming around the wicket. Just cannot give any width outside off, off stump, particularly to head. That's a lovely shot, though. It is tough, Jim. You're only allowed two men out, but I think it is somewhat quickly that there is no variation in this pitch. So I reckon you've got to actually provide it yourself. Yeah. So maybe some cutters, yep. slower balls. You know, maybe the odd shorter ball as well. Third man has gone back. Cover up into the ring. Way down the line. Dead straight. Ball. I, d I don't mind the bounce of it. There's just not much cover, is there, on the leg side? Any sort of top end? Probably not from this end. So, Flem, to, to Travis Head, what would your variation be? Would it be a, a sort of an off-spinning, cutting delivery to make him hit against that if it yeah, catches into the wicket? definitely. If there is a weakness in his game, what is, is, is against spin. I mean, his strike rate is 71 in the big bash compared to, I'd conservatively guess, 120, 130 yeah. against pace. So even as a fast medium, I'll be buying a lot of off-cutters. Yep. Wait, wait, wait! I, I think change of pace is definitely good. Well, field there, back to a point, Benny Royal, because he's going so hard at the ball, he's, he's just going sort of one-paced mm. at every delivery. 
So if you can get it to hold up a bit, um, you're a chance of getting caught. And those stats, obviously, Laurie Colliver gave it to me. And we were doing this game last season, and um, Badry, the West Indian leg spin, actually bowled a maiden to Travis yep. in the 14th over. Well, I think Farwood will come on once the power plays. Yep. Done and dusted, I reckon, pretty quickly. There's two balls left in the power play. Could be oh. tight. No, it didn't end up tight if the man at cover cut it off. Would have been close, but it brings up the 50 for the strikers. And it sounds like, well, it looks like they've uh, batted a fair bit in Sheffield Shield cricket over the last two years together because their communication has been outstanding. And that's the tough thing when you're bowling. You're leaking boundaries, yeah. but you can't get one and down, you know, bogged down one end and, and build up the pressure and maybe force a risky shot. Big Jason Gillespie. Dizzy is coaching the strikers. We'll be speaking to him very shortly. Always interesting comments from the big dudes. Well, and that's carved over the top. He stayed low and deep in his crease to carry it. And they get another boundary. Three in that single over. It closes out the power play for the strikers. We've got 54 on the board for the loss of one wicket. Imagine if you got to call the shots. New from Coral, your call. Create the bet you want, then tweet it to Coral with the hashtag your call, and we respond with your price. Plus, there's loads more your call specials on the app. With Coral, it's your bet, it's your price, it's your call. Jump in. Available on App Store and Google Play when the fun stops, stop. KFC, bang your buckets, go there in red, the hcg.com.au, and you can play a game there where you, you bang your bucket, Junior, you get on there and support your, your home team. <laughs> Just got to click away and keep banging the bucket, and we'll monitor that later on and see which fans are the best supporters in the country. And there you go, that beautiful striking blue of the Adelaide Strikers. We've got the Santa Claus hat on top of the bucket, that young girl, so the hcg.com.au. Bang your bucket game, get involved, support support your uh, your favourite team, and you called it June straight after the power play failed, Ahmed. Yes, uh, well, beautifully the last couple of seasons, hasn't he? And started off in great fashion against the Sixers. Economy rate just over seven. That's pretty good in uh, T20 cricket. It's almost like the governor is just pulling the strings on yeah. field. Yeah, yeah. Get it, get it first. Oh, good start. He started beautifully in game one, didn't he? He bowled very, very well. Him and uh, all the spinners... Bowled well, pretty well. Two for 11, I think, or four um, at Spot the Stadium. Arjun Nair bowled well. He picked yep. up two for about 25. So, excellent start. Right there, right there. Well, you've got a wicket maiden. You just mentioned, Flemmer, about the maiden. It was bowled to Travis Head. And the far had got a wicket maiden up there in the opening fixture. They're as common as ACDC ballads. <laughs> just to see what you know <laughs> wicket maidens in Big Bash League. Yeah, what is common is there's a lot Good leg spinners. That's not his best delivery, but good work there by McLennigan. Yeah, How many definitely. good leg spinners are there? Good spin bowlers, but featuring this year in the BBL leg spin bowling. Well, Mitch yeah. Swepson was very good up at the Gabba. Should have Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Very yes. Well. yes. Sheed's going to be playing here. Far Farwell. Farwell. Boyce. Boyce. Yeah. Zampa. Zampa. How many more can we think of? Uh, James Muirhead has come back into the Scorchers oh, yeah, team, is, yeah. I think, because the, well, you, we might talk about that a bit later, um, Gil, but a lot yep. of injuries and a lot of away to Australian selection. But I, I did hear that he was being considered possibly starting in the lineup even at full strength. So uh, that'd be really opportune for him yes. to get in there and get amongst it. I think uh, Justin Langer would be watching with interest the success of all the other leggies, so there's no reason not to. It's a good this, start, isn't it? Yeah. Three, dot, three singles, last ball the over. Carved away, just be a single. So, good start by Farwed. Four off it, it's one for 58 from seven. Introducing the new Burger King Long Pepperoni Burger. Two flame grilled burgers, cheese, barbecue sauce, and yummy pepperoni. Now in a king box with fries, nuggets, and a drink for just $4.99. Only at Burger King. Stand out from the crowd. TV advertising has never been so easy. A message to the sleep poor. Join the sleep rich.
Try the Eve mattress with our 100 night trial. If you don't sleep better, we'll pick it up again for free. Well, it is the most wonderful time of the year, and not just because it's Big Bash time. It's the festive season. Cricket and Christmas go hand in hand, it has for a long time, and wow, the jewel in the crown of Adelaide, the Adelaide Oval, looking at sitting up there. It's uh, reinvigorated the CBD of the South Australian capital. And this particular innings is getting some nice momentum. Good over from Fawad Ahmed just to hold it up. But now more spin. It's off spin from Arjun Nair. He did well in the first game with the bat and the ball. Promising young cricketer. Well, it's been heaved away for six. Uh, that's a brave shot by Carey against the spin. Slog sweep. First ball. <laughs> First ball. Have a look at him. No. Not him for six. Great Woo! shot, Carey. Geez, right arm, thank you very much. First ball. I think this is just swept on length. Look at that. It, it was quick and full, so almost more like the medium 79, pace. 79, 79 metres, reasonably flat. Wouldn't believe it, Moses Enrique is in for six first ball the other night as well. <laughs> That's OK, he gets used to that. Character building. It's into his work. It's a follow-up. Oh, slower. It's adjustment. Just dropped. Very good bowling. He's not your typical off spinner, you know, drifts away back in. He's, he's more like in the rain, at, yep. you know, sort of at the front, a uh, uh, front on action, I'm trying to say. Not the usual drift. He'd use it fingers more than That's wrist. Good Is man. that what you're saying? Yeah. Travis Head. Oh. oh. French cut there for one. We've got Jason Gillespie down the dugout. Dizzy, good evening. Uh, good evening, Gil. Happy with the start, mate? Very happy. Yeah. Uh, obviously disappointed losing an early wicket, but uh, but Alex and, and Trav have, have batted very well so far. Jason, what about when Bradley Hodge moved on? Was it pretty easy that you had Travis Head already in waiting to captain this team? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, Hodge was fantastic for for us for the two seasons that he captained the side, and uh, and then you know once he he moved on, um, you know it was a pretty easy decision. Uh, Travis has, has been leading South Australia for a couple of seasons now, and, and he's certainly growing as a, as a leader, and, and he, he's been fantastic so far. Did he any insights to Colin Ingram and what we can expect there? Yeah, I think his nickname's the Bulldozer, really, from, <laughs> from what I've heard. And, uh, so he's look, a touch player, isn't he? <laughs> he's a touch player, yeah, deft touch. Um, no, look, he's, he's a fine player. He, he gives the ball a bit of a whack and, uh, and, and looks to get going pretty quickly. No, very good. He's going to ask him a question, but we'll, we'll ask it next over. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> I think time. we'll get this ball out of the way and stay here and keep talking to him. Good okay. call. It's quicker. So the sweep shot is in action. Maybe a legacy of Alex Ross. <laughs> Diz, um, just end of the over, uh, one for 69. Just look at your batting line. You've got a lot of dashes in there, haven't you? A lot of guys who just go <laughs> after after the bowling. Is there any guys who can sort of change the pace if you lose a couple of early ones? Have you got that sort of player there? Yeah, well, look, look I think that the key is, uh, June, we've got players we feel are very adaptable to uh, situations, being able to, to adapt their game. Um, you know, obviously, Colin can... can that in different years. Uh, John Wells, over a number of years uh, when he's played for Hobart, has shown that he's very adaptable uh, to situations. He can clear the rope, but he, is, he can also uh, use his pace between wickets and, and knock it around. So we, we feel we've got, got all bases covered there, Jim. Forward Army continues and down the track. It's slide shot over the offside, but it's gone all the way. Hey, Jason, now what about your park face fast bowling attack? Billy Stanlake, uh, is that tall? He can actually bowl bounces from half follies. How's <laughs> his body going? How much work has he had? Uh, he's been he's been bowling really well, Flint. Um, you know, he, he had an infected toe, which uh, affected uh, you know part of his season with Queensland. And, um, but, but that's uh, on the mend, and, and he's been bowling quite well. So, you know, he's been getting through uh, plenty of work. He's been working hard at, you know, hitting the track hard. He's been working at his Yorker, and, and obviously that ball that, uh, that comes through pretty short. So uh, he's got a pretty simple game plan. Uh, Billy, you know, when you do, you, you can do that when you, when you bowl 145 clips. <laughs> yeah, six foot ten. <laughs> and what about... Uh... Uh, Dizzy, what about Rashid Khan? A lot of us haven't seen a lot of him. Uh, tell us a bit about Rashid. Mm. Yeah, he's... Uh... <laughs> Oh, quick. Um, <laughs> he's an off spinner. He's, 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 he's a leg spinner. He's, he's, he's fantastic. He's fitted in wonderfully well. I mean, he's, he's come off some fantastic form for uh, from his country of Afghanistan. Um, he's played in a few leagues around the world. I think he was a leading wicket taker in the IPL for the Sunrisers Hyderabad. I think he got a, a hat trick for 
uh, Guyana in the Caribbean Premier League uh, this season. So he's got some good form behind him, um, but he's fitted in wonderfully well. And Jace, how are you finding the coaching too? It's not just on the field, it's off the field. And I know when you were playing, you were big on um, relaxing after a bowling day. <laughs> in T20 cricket, it's always a bowling day. What do you say to, to, to your troops after a game? Oh, look, it's, it's up to them. They're grown men, Flem, and uh, they can make their own decisions. <laughs> um, you know, I don't, I don't have a, a protocol. We certainly don't have... Um, you know, curfews or anything like that. Uh, these guys are big enough and ugly enough to, to <laughs> make their own decisions and, uh, you know, and we're here. Self-responsibility. Absolutely. You know, they've got to be responsible for their own uh, prep, their own recovery, uh, their own games. And, uh, you know, as a support staff, we're here to help them in every, every step of the way. Good on you, Des. Thanks for touching base, mate. Pleasure, lads. Thanks. That's it. Ah, the last ball. It's uh, 10 runs from the over, so productive for the strikers. Nine gone, one for 79. Match day's my favourite day, despite all of these bums in my face. The same coming through! And the clueless steward clearing the way. We've cleared the way for you to join Paddy's Rewards Club. Just place five bets of £10 or more in a week, and you'll get a free £10 bet the next week. At least we got the best seats of them all! Go! My bet's gonna come in, I know. The high fans are leaving! That's the spirit, Paddy Power, you beauty! Whoa, look at tomorrow. Wow. Triple header. The WBBL, the Sixers and the Hurricanes. And then uh, it's the Sixers and the Scorchers. They open BBL 7 account. And then tomorrow night, the Renegades versus the Heat there at Eddie Had Stadium. Bigbash.com.au for tickets. That's hit hard again. The chase is on. Down at Deep Long on. Well done. The screen down there. Flemmer, you got the day off as well. And there's three games on. What's to go there? I don't know. I've done three games in a row. Is that oh, not enough? Or <laughs> do you yeah. only do do you only do Thunder games, Gov? I. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> just, the, just the eight games. Just yeah. the eight games. That's oh. built it again. What a shot! Oh, that is good batting. This is clean as a whistle, Gilly. This time it's, uh, it's Travis Head. Doesn't look it like is. Alex Carey's shot the previous over didn't it? an instant Slot replay sweet. but i just like the way they're holding their shape here june they're not trying to over hit it just sit that through the ball oh hasn't gone very high he's well, I mean, not bothered if it goes for six or four he's just saying i'm going to commit to it they hit the boy in the head then that delivery let's hope not just i reckon it did seems to be a bit of no i think it's i think it's gone through the hands unfortunately the play's just been held up here a little bit on sure if they've uh, retrieved the ball or whether there's a bit of concern going on there. Yeah, it was a very flat six, wasn't yeah, it? So if it has, has gone through, it. I hope they're okay. A couple people tried to catch it and it went through everybody. And we saw uh, Elise Perry at North Sydney Oval. Just Straight away, wasn't there. she? And she, she was ran to really the uh, boundary. You've got to keep watching. Yeah, I'm amazed more people don't get hit, particularly in England, some of those county games where they see yeah. their deck chairs right near the... Well, oh, remember the Andrew frame. Simons in one particular game belted a ball to the boundary. It went through and hit a lady in the leg. I think she got yeah. taken to hospital. It was... Uh, uh, sorry, no, I think the first blow hit her in the face. She got taken to hospital, came back, was fine, moved positions to watch the rest of the game. Next six hit her in the leg. Got hit her in the leg. <laughs> well, I remember we were, we were practising in Sri Lanka and there just happened to be one man working there and a six got hit and... Who hit that six? Mark Hall. <laughs> Oh, but you gave me a couple. You gave me a pair oh, of gloves, didn't you? He gave me a pair of gloves. Cleaning the grandstand, wasn't he? We're hitting, doing our range hitting. Yeah, he's unlucky. He gave him something, though, at least. Just holding one. Yeah. Just... But there was no one else there, was there? <laughs> Not many. And he continues. Ah, oh, sweep again, but it brings risk. Coming from backward square. It's going to fall oh, safe. No. Oh, how could that happen? Held in the air. Safe. Mitchell McLennigan was trying to get there. It hung in the air for Ooh. so long. There's no one, no one got near it. No one saving a single apart from where McLennigan is at backward <laughs> square leg. So it's just landed right in the middle of our oh, eight fields. Poor Nair. As soon as that got to top edge, you would have thought he had a wicket. Well, they like the sweep, don't they? There's <laughs> a boundary distance out there. It's just over 58 metres. Here's that one. Look how high that's gone. 
Yeah. Finnegan there, right of screen, tried hard to get there, all in vain. Good partnership, 79 of 49 balls. Yeah. Oh, Nick, is it? Oh, it's well a taken. What a it's catch. A very good catch there. Big Davison puts a finger up. Josh Butler, that is fantastic wicket keeping. You may say it was dragged down from there. It was wide. It was chased uh, by the captain. But look, watch this glove work. Oh, it spun two on the Bunnings warehouse reaper. Smart bowling because he knows that these two have been slog sweeping, so he pushed it wider, let them reach for the ball. It was almost a wide, and it actually spun. Did ball oh. hit it, and Butler moved beautifully. Big breakthrough because uh, Head was playing particularly well. He's gone, and it's two for 89. Boss the scent intense. The new fragrances for him and for her. Huge breakthrough there for the Sydney Thunder. Ojan Nair just been hit for a six. A few balls prior. He gets the big wicket of Travis Head. Here's a man we just heard Jason Gillespie talking about. Colin Ingram, aka the bulldozer. Doesn't take long to get going in any form of the game, let alone T20. He's got one more delivery here. Marjunair. Another lefty. It's four in a row. On, Out of the top six. Nathan Lyon, I like to bowl to the strikers. Yeah, I would have thought. A little bit of turn there. Slip it's brought about place. a slip. Shane Watson goes into slip. There's a backward point. A man out in the deep. Cover point. And another sweep. Should just be one. So it's the halfway point of the innings for the strikers. Two for 90. on target for a good score here. Two for 90 from the first 10. Eight and over from here gets in the 170. That's about a par score given the beautiful conditions. Perfect pitch. And if I would Ahmed to continue. Two hours 14. Not too bad in the context of how well Carey and Head were striking the ball. And the single for Ingram. So good start by the bulldozer. I don't know why he's called the bulldozer. <laughs> Sure about that. Have to ask him or ask someone anyway. Well, Junior, in the uh, 2016 T20 Blast over in England, he was player of the year. Played for Glamorgan. Glamorgan yep. Played for Glamorgan. 502 runs at a strike rate of 164 with 29 sixes. So that probably oh. tells you the sort of mentality and mindset he has when he goes out to bat. Right. It's Carey on strike now. Yeah. Might have hit a few out of that uh, Cardiff. Well, that would have been tight. Uh, that's a short, straight boundary at Cardiff, isn't it? Sophia Gardens. Yeah, into the river down there. Yeah. Right over the sight screen. Yeah. One of Andrew Simon's favourite grounds there. The Taff, I think, the river's called there. Here we go. Ooh, would have just been fine. Just in. That's a good shot by Ingram. Good feeling out there, too. And Blizzard. So, feeling's been. Reasonably sharp, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. By the Thunder. They haven't missed anything as yet. Seven times these two teams have matched up in the history of BBL cricket. It's three apiece with one no result, a washout. That was here in Adelaide a few years ago. Well, that'd be a pretty good record for the Thunder because they have they did win the comp two seasons ago. But... 50 matches they've played and only won 15. Mm, so this and, be they've their... got a, and they've got a trophy in their cabinet. Yeah. So all that matters, this will be their favourite team then to play against. Yeah, it's just about winning the right games, isn't it? What's the mood ar around the camp like now? Oh, very good. Junior, pretty yeah. confident. I was at a, a, a Sydney Thunder fan day last week. Was Real that pretty, a paid appearance or points? just a governor uh, appearance? None of your business. <laughs> 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 Five runs off the 11th over. Good work from Ahmed. Two for 95.
Dolce and Gabbana, the one for men. TV advertising has never been so easy. Search Gorilla Scope. A message to the sleep poor. Join the sleep rich. Try the Eve mattress with our 100-night trial. If you don't sleep better, we'll pick it up again for free. So still plenty of batting, isn't there, for the Adelaide strikers? John o. Wells, very good worker of the ball. Jake Lehman, at about that time he Ooh, came out to bat. Needing a four, and he hit a six of the last ball of the innings to win. John O'Dean, fine striker of the ball as well. Colin Ingram, the bulldozer on strike. Looked up his nickname, he's called the Bulldozer Junior. And you'll like this, is because he's a power hitter. Uh, okay. Simple one. Simple one. Simple, simple yeah. nickname. That one. Five singles, his last five balls, Alex Carey. He really got going. What's it done to him? Oh, cut, he's cut. got creative and he's gone. So the pressure built. And it's a big breakthrough for now. His second wicket. Slightly awkward dismissal there from Alex Carey. Talked about the pressure, Adam Gilchrist, of the singles. Thought he had to innovate. I'm not sure if Mayor on the Bunnings Warehouse replay saw him early. A bit shorter, maybe a bit of overspin. And he found out Ben Rohrer beautifully. And you don't want to do that because Ben Rohrer is one of the better fieldsmen in the Big Bash. Mayor, now two wickets to his name after getting hit for six first ball. Alex Carey. Handy innings that, out for 44, it's 3 for 96. Horse racing, the power, the grace, the thunderous orchestra of hooves. It's got everything, including the latest choral action. Get your money back as a free bet if your selection falls today. Offer applies to selected races. Coral, jump in. Available from App Store and now Google Play. When the fun stops, stop. Three for 96. And the graphic on there, I think. I'm pretty sure it's John, John O'Wells. John O'Wells out there. John O'Dean. I know they both got similar first names, but yeah. That's no, it's, right. a bit, it's a bit shorter. John O'Wells and John yeah. O'Dean. John O'Dean will be out there at some stage, so we'll roll that little graphic out again. But he's scheduled to come in at number seven, I reckon. There we go. Jonathan Wells. Experienced player. Busy. He's isn't a good he? sweeper of the ball, yep. too. Yep. They've got some sweepers. Woof. Mate, it's the legacy of Alex Ross. Who didn't oh, sweep a lot in the, his first innings. No, up at the Gabba. Oh. Is that something of a, another one, a doujery type uh, delivery? Yeah, I think he does bowl that. Yeah, uh, look, the doujery. One that goes on straight, so he's doing a good job again, isn't he? Might have slightly gone the other way, even Arjun Junior. There. So they've lost two wickets quickly, the strikers. That's what you don't want to do, get two new batsmen at the crease, and that, that's what they've got now. We'll talk about that pressure. Carey, he had three off six deliveries. He then had 37 off his next 15. And then the ensuing five deliveries was five singles, as I said, and then he gets out. So there's little... Yeah. Mini battles, and if you can just... Momentum's the big key word in this game, isn't it? If you can just shift momentum, they were able to do that, the Thunder, and they got him out. Now, Brisbane viewers, if you can get ready to switch over from 1 over to 10, Channel 10, just, uh, in about 20 seconds' time. Keep watching the big bash action, action from Adelaide. Push neck out. Welcome, Brisbane viewers, on Channel 10. And to Adelaide, three for 98. And there we go, John O'Wells. Productive, busy. He has all the tricks. Reverse sweep. The thing with uh, Kerry is he still struck at 162, didn't he? Yeah. 44 from 26. With so. two quiet periods. Yeah, so he, he didn't really need to panic because he's the sort of player that can get on a roll and, on a streak and score very quickly. Good work. Arjun Nair, just five runs off it. And the wicket of Carey brings up the 100. Three for 100 off 12, the strikers. Latest grand catches, AHM Health Insurance. Been an extraordinary night, more of it. Away behind leg side. Oh, yeah. Security. Great 
catch. I tell you what, this young man, he looks a little bit like the comedian Rodney Roode. He didn't pivot. <laughs> he just took the catch. Oh, talk about Steve picking out a fielder. This is cool as a cucumber, yeah, that's no worries. No high fives. That's what I do. Easy. Yes, cool. Oh, there he is. He's back. Big ass Shakara. The trimmer this. back in the same Trim spot. Beard. Yeah, they haven't given him a, a chair this time, but. I think he's still at Care Corner, though. You what want your legend. best fieldsman, best catchers at Care Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly a security guard. Good to hear from you, Flynn, too. You've been very yeah, cool over the he? last few hours. Um, did you. Were you talking about me or <laughs> how cool I am? Or? AHM, the greatest crowd catchers. We're going to be. Featuring many of those throughout this uh, BBL7. There's some beauties coming up, Gil. Oh, oh there's a big bit of interest there. Could be tight for the oh, run out. out. Oh, would have been out if he hit. Big buy there. I reckon that was just sliding down, but the run out chance was right on. Well, there didn't seem any acceleration, did there, from Ingram? He's on the treadmill. Well, he's a bulldozer, so he takes a bit of warming up. Yeah, fair call. Wonderful. But you don't want to stand in front of him. <laughs> One for 12 off the last 15 balls <laughs> after Travis Head got out. Yeah, I was watching some highlights of that uh, English T20 cricket. He, he hits a big ball. Generally to the leg side. Yeah. Good cut it as well. They're still going all right, the strikers. Um, Aiden Avers, 162. That still a bit of batting to come too. Lehman's a real dasher. What do you say, the pitch whisperer? What score did you say they needed? 171 is the average. Very specific, weren't you? You need a bit more than that. I, a little bit more. Yeah, ten and over. Given the surface, this is one of the. It's always a good surface here, but I don't yeah. think there's that sort of tennis bully bounce in this pitch. I reckon it's less turn. So there's Vickers. We know who What's he his name? is. Vickers. Vickers. But look at this. Uh, we want to know who all the crowd catchers are uh, okay. from all the different action shots and crowd catchers he shows. So there's the email address. If you see yourself taking a catch throughout this BBL, or you know someone who does, email us. Let us know. We want to get in touch with you. We know who he is. The big fella. He's still here and yeah. he's here for the test Number match 400. as well. He has got a seat. Beautiful. Yeah, he's got a seat. We have a shoe endorsement deal there too. He's done well. Wouldn't surprise me. Everything's getting endorsed these days, isn't it? Sweat guards. Oh, beautifully bold. Yeah. For a screen back in the attack. Um, so the guy in New Zealand dropped that catch for 50,000 in the crowd. Really? The one That's got to yeah. hurt. Well, I think last it was easy year they, too. Had, they had twice $100,000 went off, didn't they? It was easy. Should have caught it. Oh. Ash Dutch, you? No. I am, but you should have got that. 50k riding on it. Oh, it's starting to get a bit jittery, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> Around the wicket. Green. Yeah. Uh, this has been good from the Thunder. They've really started to peg this back. It looked like it was getting away from them. 13 gone. 3 for 104. Quiff. The betting app where every time you place a bet, your odds might get quiffed. But how does Quiff work? You're placing a bet with normal odds, and suddenly your odds might get supercharged from 4 to 1 to 40 to 1. Yeah, it happens. Like Adam from Clitheroe. He placed a bet on PSG to beat Celtic and got his odds supercharged from 11 to 8 to 80 to 1. His five pound bet won him 400 pounds. It's perfectly normal until it's quiffed. We don't want to miss the free Booper family day. It's in the Yarra Park outside the MCG, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Saturday. That's tomorrow, it's the day the 23rd December. You're going to see, uh, you can meet the Australian and English teams. There'll be heaps of activities for the whole family. To find out more, go to summer.cricket.com.au forward slash family day. Why wouldn't you get down there? The Aussies are on fire, yep. up and about, 3-0 mm. up in the ashes. They're selecting good teams, <laughs> and they, the, the country's getting rewarded by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, June, what's Ingram going to do here? On those highlights, he, he, he did try and get down the pitch and hit them straight down the ground, yeah. but, but now he changes up his speed so much, and there is a little bit of turn. It's not easy to do. No, maybe they're, they're thinking about the short square boundary, so they've just got sweep in mind all the time. Sometimes you get into a frame of mind. He's gone not long this time, Flem, exactly what you said. Not straight, but scoring a long way. And he's broken the shackles, Ingram. Now it looks like he's downloaded the six hitting app finally, and he has delivered. <laughs> well, he got his dancing shoes on, didn't he? Rather yeah. than staying in the crease and, and slog sweeping, Jim Eary gets out of the crease, meets it, 
came down with a straight bat and just turned the wrist at point of impact and helped it on its way over the, the short square boundary here in Adelaide. No, he, generated, he generated a bit of momentum before he got to that There ball. we go, oh, Gus. Gus! Oh, but hang on a six, Stay brings there, another Gus. wrist. Blast off. And gone. He's blasted off, all right. Ingram, he goes for 15 and now gets his third. Yeah, that little bit of spin and a bit of angle too across the left hand and not easy to go. That uh, big shot through the onside and Nair does it again. Well bowled in the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Looking to slog sweep again, wasn't he? Would have been off going straight. Oh, and Ahmed takes the catch. Another big wicket for the youngster. Yeah, Pretty cool season. celebration there too. He's got a bit of West Indian, hasn't he? Four for 111. Ingram's gone. Now that was... As Lehman strides out to the crease. And Jake Lehman is playing well this season, averaging uh, in the 40s in Shield cricket. So there's Nair mixing it up on the Harvey Norman pitch mat. So, Jen, if you're not picking it out of the hand, you, you can't pick it off the pitch because no. that's a good grouping, isn't it? Yeah. And if you're not sure if it's going to go slightly one way or the other, you're getting caught on the crease. Well, his, his action stays the same. He just really changes his deliveries with his, his fingers. Um, very clever bowler. He's, he bowls flat too. He doesn't really get it up in the air, so not easy to come down the pitch, as you were saying just previously in this, this over. Well, that look, one looked like he was happy to actually draw him down a little bit. And, and he didn't get down the pitch. Yeah. I think his quicker one is the one that goes the other way. You can see that he actually puts a lot more effort into it. And if it's not turning the other way, it's at, at least straightening. You see, even with spin bowling, it's still an explosive action, isn't it? You're yeah. still bowling with a quick arm speed, but you're manipulating your wrists and your fingers so it doesn't come out as quick and you can get drift and drop. Still need to get energy on the ball, yeah. don't you? It revs on it, catch the wicket. He's been a little bit expensive, but it, he won't mind. He's helped deflate this innings. The Adelaide Strikers, three for 23 they've lost. Oh, they continue to sweep <laughs> from the crease. <laughs> it's just... What's the match? They all sweep, don't they? Well, big delivery this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's, watch this. I just wonder if this one went straight on. He seems to bowl through, yeah, it went through, through, his, way, didn't it? through his thumb and his index yep. finger. And so it's good variations and not easy to pick. Just I think he'd be changes. rotating it with his thumb. It's okay, bowls. Well, just, yep. Can't open the door again here. Ooh. Well bowled. That one spun in. That's a very successful four overs for Arjun Nair. He's got three for 36 after 14. It's four for one, one, three. Closer. Boss the scent intense. The new fragrances for him and for her. Can't wait for tomorrow night. Be in the box with Stephen War for uh, the Big Bash. Mark, mate. Mark War. Can't wait for tomorrow night to be in the box. <laughs> He's one of the best. He's Graham Swan. Real funny. No, but it is. <laughs> Which game's he doing? <laughs> He's, he's not with doing you. My one. Is he in Sydney? Is you he in Sydney? Oh, mate. he's in Sydney. Right, okay. I, I knew he was trying to be funny. Well, there. Uh, I don't <laughs> think he was. That's a bit uncomfortable. Oh, was that a chance? I found that quite entertaining. Should we <laughs> move on? Should he, we move he's on? He's very funny, that Graham Swan. Yeah, he is. Well, I thought he was funny then. Does some good impersonations. Yeah, it was excellent. Yeah. He was particularly funny then, but uh, it's an interesting hot zone there. He was not impersonating that he was disappointed. He was genuinely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no man out the deep. Where that ball's gone, it was a big effort from backward square from Fekety, but he couldn't run it down. So the shackles have been broken somewhat in a while between boundaries. Momentum taken away from the strikers, but Jake Lehman trying to give it a push forward. If you took out the strikers' sweeps tonight, they'd be on 10 runs. <laughs> they're sweeping everything, they but are. they're still in a position. They've got a lot of batting left, so 10 and over is certainly achievable. And they can still launch. Just a bit too full, that one from Farwet. Needs to drag his length back a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. 
No. Oh, it was the wrong one. Pitched about leg, maybe missing off. Did it hit him on the full as well? Uh, I think half folly. Okay, half folly. Good look at it in a minute. Good it's great. Rolling, though. Even just describing the different deliveries from the spinners. Continuing to play from the crease, aren't they? The only time we've seen a batsman really leave with any conviction was that that six from Ingram just before he got out. Here's that replay. Ooh, yeah, nah, missing off, doing too off. much. Yeah, but that's it's a risky shot. So I suspect Flamo just said that they're not picking the delivery, so they don't want to leave their ground. That's good bowling, isn't it? That's wide of the crease. Angling in, slower, higher leg break. The ball just didn't get to him. Sorry, over the years, the strikers have had a spin-orientated attack. Not so much this year. They've only got Rashid Khan. Oh, swept away. Rashid Khan into the over. Four for 118. Oh, what a finish this is. Look at the three horses. The one in the middle looks... Oh, he's celebrating. Oh! He's celebrating too early. Where is the winning post? Oh my God, unbelievable. And so is this. At Labrooks, get a free odds boost on every race at one meeting a day. Even the horse looks embarrassed. Available from App Store and Google Play. When the fun stops, stop. Look at the Adelaide Oval, the strikers. Four for 118 of 15 overs. Ten and over from here gets them up to 168. That, that's competitive if you look at history. 164 is the average winning bat first score. And a little uh, story to be told there. 28 off the last five overs. So it was a slowish start. Then they gained momentum through the middle yep. section. And then they've been pegged back by some good spin bowling. Arjun Nair, Fawad Ahmed. It's up to Jake Lehman. John O. Wells to get the momentum going in. 30 deliveries left. Yeah, I think they might attack this over green. Yep. Oh, and instantly Renee. prepared to leave his well, ground because, there. Because he's, he's not a spinner of the ball, is he? He's just no. flat and full, so you're not going to get deceived by one that might be a wrong one or play in front of the hand. Playing like a slow medium bowler. Can he go over cover, Lehman, or is he too heavily dependent leg side? That's good bowling. Quick change in pace. They're pushing. And just be the single. I think John O. Wells will enjoy the quicker delivery, something with a little bit more pace on it. He gets down and reverse laps and, and dinks over the top of the keeper's head, the little ramp shot, if you yeah. like. I know they call it the dill scoop, but I know Ryan Campbell, <laughs> he'll feel he uh, did he? he'll he'll feel ripped off if we don't Coaching in Amsterdam now. He's coaching the Dutch team. It was Hong Kong, wasn't he, for a while? It was in Hong Kong, but I think he was the, the pioneer oh. of that one. Oh. Ooh. He'll be so disappointed he didn't hit that. He gave it everything. He might have just taken his eyes off it a little bit. <laughs> a lot of bottom hands. Might have just held up a bit too. Looked like it came off a fraction slower. 86 Ks. He's normally around the low 90s. Chris Green. Oh, I think he's, he's got some bat there. Yeah. Gee, it was a good arrow, wasn't it? That was 102. So good variance and pace. He's just messing yeah. with Wells' footwork and also his bat speed. He was just looking to sweep everything. Well, he should look to come down straight, I think. Four singles off his last ten balls. Green. Yes. Full and guided beautifully. So that's clever batting. Lynch and Jono Wells likes a little bit of pace on the ball to work with. Gets three. And ben Rora chasing that. And I think I think Lehman's more likely to come down the pitch and maybe go over cover. Well, mid off's back. But you back yourself did it over the rope. Yeah. You? It's, it's, you know, it's roped in a long way, even though it's a big ground. I, I would think straight back over the bowler's head would be ideal. Well, we saw him hit over that way, and mid off then... when he hit that match winning six yeah. off uh, Simon Malenko. The last ball from what has been a very tidy spell of bowling from Green. <laughs> And he closes it out really well. It should just be a single. He wasn't getting hit back over his head. 106 kilometres an hour. After 16, it's full for 123. Quiff, the betting app where every time you place a bet, your odds might get quiffed. But how does Quiff work? 
You're placing a bet with normal odds, and suddenly your odds might get supercharged from 4 to 1 to 40 to 1. Yeah, it happens. Like Adam from Clitheroe. He placed a bet on PSG to beat Celtic and got his odds supercharged from 11 to 8 to 80 to 1. His 5 pound bet won him 400 pounds. It's perfectly normal until it's quiffed. Well, coming up in the innings break, look at the colour he's wearing there. Brad Hodge, he's now wearing the red of the Renegades. He closed the innings out nicely last night with Cameron White. We're going to be talking to him, boys, in the innings break. What about his first scoring shot yeah, last night? that was huge, wasn't it? About 150 kilometres an hour, and it went out at about 180 kilometres an hour. lost none six. of his entertainment with his on-field microphone last night, was he? As captain down here, it was always intriguing talking to him yep. when he was... Uh, holding the reins down here at the Strikers. but Well, he is expanding his media horizons too. Yeah, I know where you're going here months. too. Look, that's what's left. Green's finished. McLennigan a couple. You'll see his variations. Fecky, just the five bowlers used tonight by Shane Watson. Very neat. Yeah. Doesn't bowl himself, has he? What right. Well, he copped a bit of tap the other night yeah, up there at Spotless, didn't he? struggling to get the past 125. <laughs> what right. The spin tonight, 12 overs, 3 for 83. So 6.9 for over off the spinners and three wickets. So yeah. the spinners have held sway. And I was just looking at the strikers. They have got Travis Head, of course, and Colin England by some leggies as well, along with Rashid Khan. So they've got a few options there. Spin. Well, they need to really push here now. Got to go, don't they? Yep. 10 and over up to 162. They'll want more than that. Mid-offs up. Three out on the leg side. And sliced down to third man. Will's thought about coming back. Barry Colliver's telling me that in the last 38 balls, they've scored 35 runs. So you think the acceleration mm. it's not would have been happening just a little bit earlier than this. the right way around, is it? Well, they tell me Rashid Khan, he can give it a bit of a touch-up. Yep. Yeah, well, Johnny Dean can as well. Uh, and the next two in. I think they'd prefer this pair at the moment. It's 14, the partnership Open. off 17. Or oh, bouncer. Yeah. But safe. they've got a field set for that. That's the bigger boundary, isn't it? Yep. For the for the left-handers to take it on. And, and Fekety hits the deck hard. They've been well-directed. Good bowling, good defensive bowling. Yeah, and the key there, Flem, is to make sure they get that bumper up high if they're going to go short, because anything around chest height, mid-wicket was up in the circle with no protection behind. Lehman would get a good pull shot away over the head of mid-wicket, but it's the right-hander on strike now. Wells, 10 off 13. How creative can he be? Uh, it's, oh! It's York's Josh Butler on the second bounce and goes through for a boundary that the crowd really appreciate. Yeah, that's a bonus. I reckon it's gone between his legs. Mm. He was an off-spinner, so... It's well bowled. Spun awkwardly on the second hop and kept low. It was well bowled right back in the head, yeah. so that's going to come off slow, isn't it? So, Gil, you're the keeper. Are they, are they tough to, to keep? Well, it actually Checked turned it. as yeah, well. Because it was an off-spinner, it was going to turn. I'll tell you what, though, he wasn't down that far. It's, it's that snaking. Uh, only thing there, he, he could have got down and fielded a lot with a traditional fielding technique of getting down side on, get something behind it, but a bit stiff there. Yeah. Another change up. That's good bowling. So bounces and change up deliveries. Good, good. It looks like. Death bowling. You're right, Sam. It looks like once the ball's a bit soft, it's just holding, holding in the wicket a little bit. A little bit. I didn't think it would, but it looks like it is. So, Flem, what do you close out with here? We've got a, a fine leg and a deep backward square, but mid wicket stays in the ring. Do you go short again with pace off? If he misses his target, it could go over mid-wicket. You're happy head. to concede a single. Uh, uh, maybe you just, I reckon you go another bouncer. So Lehman facing Fekety. He's short as predicted by Fleming. You get one, and that's all it is. So good work there at this stage of the inning. 17 gone, it's four for 132. Get your front row seat for the Celebrity Showdown of 2018. Two Aussie icons in the middle of Australia's biggest feud will have to live together. <laughs> There's going to be a rumble in the jungle. Mmm. We 
always speculate at this time of year, don't we? <laughs> we never know. Yeah. It's amazing how many people think we know and that we're playing the game, but no. we're uh, people far further up the food chain than us know about that, and we just have to speculate like the rest of the audience, but it's always intriguing to see who's unveiled on that opening night of I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. So nine runs off the 17th over. The 18th over coming up. The all-important 18th over, Mr. Dean Jones. What a legend of short version cricket he was. He reckons this is yeah. the most important over in no, T20 one of the cricket. Greatest one day batsman of all time. He yeah. wasn't bad at Test cricket either. Did all right. A couple 45. of double hundreds. Look at that, June. Would you go up there? Um, yeah. Been on the Harbour Bridge climb, have you? Yeah. Yep. yep. That's beautiful. So that's. That's easy, the roof climb yeah. compared to the harbour. Might get a catch up there if they're, they're concentrating. Beautiful view, particularly at this time of the evening. The sun setting over in the west there, looking down. The floodlights are on. What a ground. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Mitch McClanagan, two overs, one for 20. So a little bit more expensive than he would have liked. Really, it's all for the strikers to do. It's a nice batting strip. Just slowed up a little bit as the ball's got older. Got older. Lehman on strike. It's deep in his crease. Oh. Have that again. I like the theory, just the execution didn't quite work. They're just a bit too wide, so he's trying to get it out wide enough so Lehman can't get much power on it. With that angle around the wicket, it's going to be keep going, tailing away, tailing away from Lehman. So, yeah, good tactics. Got an interesting view. Placement, haven't they? Third slip. Oh, oh that oh. didn't even land on the cut surface. It's a Harmison ball. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair to McClanning, and when he released it, he did yell four. <laughs> well, that's what Arjun there is feeling at uh, that unusual position. That has not landed on the cut surface, I don't reckon. He must have oh. <laughs> just. There's a bit of seam on the other pitch. <laughs> well, if Butler doesn't get across there, that short third man he is gets doing it. He clean gets up it. work. Yeah, uh, that's only that's. I don't know if this tactic's working so far. He's laughing. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, good recovery. Wow. Just received some news, boys, and it's good news. Young Charlie, the young six-year-old boy, was the one that was cleaned up by that six. We've just heard that he's fine. He's gone away. Mum put a bit of ice on his on his injury, and he's uh, ready to get back out here and watch the rest oh, of the beautiful. evening. So he's just completed his first year of prep, pre-primary. Well, he might have finished today, was it, and come to the... Cricket straight no, away. Been out of school for a little while. Week. I reckon about a week ago, most of the schools broke well, up. Well, he's tough my, kid, tough boy. Yeah, not in Victoria. Primary school finished today. Is that right? Today. Yeah, today. So that's why I posed the question. Okay. Well, Even that's that. Late. That's really late. When are they going to do their Christmas shopping? The kids. <laughs> Tomorrow. You done your, <laughs> you done your shopping? <laughs> done your shopping, boys? All done, mate. Yeah. All sorted. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I might well, work, no. work on it tomorrow. That's why I can't you do the big bash. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What'd you get, Kim? Can't say. Can't say. <laughs> it's a surprise. Why well, did I ask you that two years ago? The same time, and you told me on air. You gave it away. Looks as she knew. <laughs> she knows this one too. She picked it out, so. Okay. Well, yeah, she it's probably knows. Probably yeah, knows. Practical, don't you? Yeah. You must buy something that they want. I'm just guessing. Yeah. Some right. okay. Not the element of surprise. Very few oh, surprises in life. You can throw in a little one, a little surprise. A little one. Yeah. Yeah. Just little so wrong, it hasn't cost you too much. CD something yeah. that you can both yeah. use. Something you can both use. <laughs> Hedge your bets a bit. The bowling ball with Homer written on it, was it? Or Junior. <laughs> Square legs up in the ring, three out on the leg side. It's punched out to a man sweeping in the deep. So just singles. A couple of wides off the first two balls, but uh, just pegging it back nicely is McClanagan. Just can't jag a boundary, can they? Can't get on a roll at all the strikers. Don't know whether that's batting or the pitch or a bit of both or the bowling. Yeah, the first 29 balls between them, Wells and Lehman, they only got the one boundary. Yep. Oh, oh creative, but it's gone straight up. McLean, oh, oh, it's a fly out by the Oh, no. Oh, no, no it's all right. He's Wells. got a feel. Interference. It was a bit of bit of oh, uh, asking the question. Geez, not happy at all. Well, he still should have caught it, regardless of what happened with. Bit of bit of WWE -E in the middle of the Adelaide Oval. So umpire Greg Davison just asking the third umpire, Simon Fry. He's upstairs. 
Just going over yeah, to just look. confer with Simon Lightbody, the other umpire. I'll have a look, but I can't believe John O'Wells has deliberately got in his way. He made a surprise up though, McClanagan. He's made a wicket, he he's dropped the catch, up, isn't he? Collided with the batsman. Verbal spray at the end. Jeez, he went very early. And how has he actually got it back that way, on the toe of the bat? No, well, well he's just done nothing, no. John O'Wells. The big fella's just gone right off. <laughs> that might have been an air swing. He was very quick to go around. That make an easy catch for guard. Well, in AFL, that's a basic chess mark. And we started to run Wells and then realised, well, it's probably going to be out. And he wasn't looking at move. the ball either, Wells. He wasn't looking at the ball and he wasn't looking at the, the bowler. Well, he looked at the ball there. Hang on. Maybe he looked at both. Well, he still the should, ball and still the ball. He caught it with his eyes closed. Made an absolute hash of that, the big fella. On your fielding stats with that, is that an error, Gil? One run. It'll be play on. No harm done. I'd imagine if he puts his finger off. Well. A bit of controversy here. Well, the Brennigan still fired up. And another look. Lehman used this shot to great effect in the JLT one day series. He ramping it over the bowls there, but that's where it's all being questioned now. We've got Aiden Blizzard mic'd up out in the middle. Blizz, can you fill us in on anything that's been said out there? Oh, <laughs> Maybe not what Mitch said. I uh, probably won't tell you what Mitch said, but um, oh, it looked like Wellesley moved his head and then sort of stopped in a really strategic and nice place. So um, Mitch wasn't happy, but he probably should have caught it as well. Yeah. Oh, I definitely should have caught it, the big fella. Geez, he's, he wouldn't want to upset him, though. No, he's a big, mean-looking unit, <laughs> but uh, no, it's all right. He's, um, I think he's settled, so we'll see what happens here. Um, Another close call for the umpires, I think. Yeah, I think he'd be all right. It's uh, amazing to actually, Lehman, to play that stroke and actually get it in front of the wicket. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> We're off the toe, but good comeback by uh, the Thunder Blues. Yeah, they, well. uh, yeah, spinners did well in the middle. Um, obviously, they got a great start, so... Um, yeah, we've got to finish it now. This over feels like it's taken at, it's least, taken a while. at least 20 minutes. But, uh, uh, it seemed like the ball started to hold up in the wicket a little bit as it got softer. Yeah, it has. It looks like it's slowed up a bit. So, um, look, it'd be nice if some dew or something sheened over the wicket, but it um, looks like it's slowed up a, quite a bit. Well, I can't believe we're still looking at this. Yeah. Surely it's play on. And please, the spinner's excellent again. Yeah, excellent again. Farward and um, Arjun. Arjun's come into his own there. So, um, yeah, look, the boys did a really good job. Arjun's coming into his skin, so this format might suit him nicely. Yeah, all right. Thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. And here comes the decision on the big screen. Not out. Home crowd like it. Well, I just think he's got strikers, no ball to bowl here. Strikers batsmen just got, have got a little bit funky in the last half dozen overs. I'd like to see some stand deliver type batting. Yep. Some good plain hitting. He's smiling now, McLennigan. He was fired up just a minute or so ago. What's the follow-up? He's been shanked into the leg side there, and he gets four for it. It wasn't clean. It wasn't right out of the middle, but he was strong enough, Lehman, to get it to the boundary. He's not going to be smiling after that delivery. Just a bit short. Lehman sweating on that. Well struck. His second boundary. Get a good look at it here. Great swing of the bat from Jake Lehman. <laughs> His old man about that, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he was going for six. He was trying to hit it for six. And just rolled the wrist on top of it. So I there's a statue out the back of the members here that's of Darren Lehman. It's a, that exact shot. Last of the 18th. <laughs> Tries it again. Oh. Lehman. That's and, uh, what you're talking about, Junior. Yes, bad choice. End of the over, 4 for 140. Match day is my favourite day. Despite all of these bums in my face. The same are coming through. And the clueless steward clearing the way. We've cleared the way for you to join Paddy's Rewards Club. Just place five bets of £10 or more in a week and you'll get a free £10 bet the next week. At least we got the best seats of them all. That's the spirit Paddy Power, you beauty. Two overs to go, four for 140. The strikers, John O'Dean, Sheik Khan, Peter Siddle. Three batsmen to come, but they badly need a rush of boundaries here. The strikers have really hit a submerged log in the last half a dozen overs as Andrew Fegarty bowls over number 19. Slashed away, they look for two. 
He'll come back, has to hurry. Trouble. Oh, oh, that's out. Good Mitch try, Mitch Flanagan. Flanagan out there. He's got his own back on John O'Wells, yeah, I reckon. I think he might have here. He likes it. Out. He's running in, throwing high fives. Good piece of work out in the deep. He moved well for a big boy. It's to his strong arm, his left hand, and he picked it up. I reckon it's out. We'll have a look at it. But in the Bunnings Warehouse replay, excellent take. Perfection. Yeah, he did that a couple times in the first game, but he took the half follies and the full tosses low down very well. They lose another one. The strikers. He's gone. Mitch McClellan's got his man this time. Five for 140. Once we see that a red out sign come up. Yeah, John O'Dean's walking out as John O'Wells walks off. We can cross continents and time zones at the mere touch of a button. The moment the game changes is the moment we see it. I miss nothing. We are members of the world's favourite online sports betting company and we gamble responsibly at Bet365. Sunset, a bit of cloud mixed in, always creates some great images, and there's the chopper hovering overhead. A great bit of fearing that brought about the dismissal of John O. Wells, and it brings in John O'Dean, who, uh, Flemo, you said had gone all musketeers, but I reckon Keanu Reeve, point break. I think his hair was a bit straighter than that. Yeah, OK. Yeah, it's a bit more curled to that one. Right. I think it's more musketeer-like. <laughs> Let's see how he bats. He's deep in the crease. Oh, that's a good solid hit for no run. He likes clearing that front leg, hitting to, to long on mid-wicket. There's the other angle. Yeah. It's from the chopper. That's fantastic. Beautiful isn't beauty, isn't it? Adelaide Hills out there. Ross of Alley over the hills yes, there. Yes, absolutely. Keep hydrated up there, don't you? Oof. Perfect night for cricket. It's been a good effort by the Sydney Thunder. They've pegged back what could have been a huge total for the strikers. There's the bat wrap that we made reference to. Aiden Blizzard has it. So kids out there, keep an eye out for that. Good stocking filler, I reckon. Santa Claus will have that in mind. He'll be few of them ready to deliver, I reckon. Would be uh, just the one, I think. And boys, I reckon this is a really a tidy piece of work by Josh Butler. Courageous too. This is the other night. Look at that fly up in the opening match. Fortunately, had the helmet on. Otherwise, that's in serious trouble. Yeah, hit right on the edge uh, of the square. Oh, took yeah. off nasty. But after that, he took a couple of very good run-out half volleys from the outfield. Just got the bales off with a minimum fuss, bit like Dhoni, just minimum yeah. movement with the gloves and yeah. bang, bales it just, off. He was in good position. It was just the awkward bounce yep. with the drop-in pitch there at Spotless Stadium. Lehman on strike. Oh, well bowled. Well bowled. That's good. That's the toe crusher. To, to Isn't that toe crusher, York it? So good pace, good execution. That's what you want in these last few overs. But tonight, a very similar type of take he had. So look at this courage. No helmet on, mind you. Any difference here? Perfectly positioned, but it was a, a much better throw. No need to bounce there. That was a perfect throw for a wicket to take. As you say, June, right next to the stumps. Minimal movement required. Gather the ball as soon as you feel it in your gloves. Just bump the bales off. Good courage from that man there to stay in there for that technique. To take the bales off and affect the dismissal. There's no extravagant movements with his footwork or or arms he's you know very no. simple looking keeper yep. does it easily so yeah, coming like... around the wicket length oregon's going to go over care corner the third man came up oh it's gone high Six. is it long enough just it's a short boundary but it gets there now it wasn't quite a length delivery was a full toss but to john o'dean the times we've seen him get going does hit to mid on or um, over square leg, cow corner, that area. So actually coming around the wicket opens up that option. I think you've got to come over the wicket and bowl wide. Yorkers. 
Yeah, and, and Gus is coming out for 60 metres, boys. And set a strong offside field. Just trying to work out, is that... What are we doing out there? Having a chat in the middle again. You know, they're just checking how many deliveries, if any, one left in this over. We, we think there's one to go. I'm sure John O'Dean would like one more. Yeah, he'll get one. That went as high as it went long. Yeah, it did, didn't it? So is he going to come over the wicket now? Yeah. I'll tell you what, since he's been in the crease, he's actually hit the ball very, very hard, very clean. Yeah. He hasn't really worried about the, the dink shots. Look at that white cherry on the blue bat wrap there. Yeah, it looks good. Right in the middle. Available in all big bash team colours. It's pretty easy. You just put it over your bat that you've got at home, pour a bit of hot water on it, and it shrinks around it. Yeah, away she goes. Well, they've got so six you, out. So you don't have to go and buy a whole new bat. Six the out. No, they're they coming no, here they come. Square leg. Good spot in Flemo. So there's a short third man, a short backward square. A so cover. he's coming around the wicket. Where's he going? Outside off stump. Well, he has stump. to to try and maybe. If he's going to do that, he's got a point. I think you need a deep cover. Deep cover because. So force full outside off stump wide. And then if he hits it in the screws, you've still got a deep cover and a long off on the boundary. If he goes too straight, he's going to go for six again. So nine off the over so far. Check at his last delivery. Back over his head. I'm sure it's going to get all the way, or is it? It does. He just checked in the grass. I don't know about that. Had enough momentum to get over. 13 runs for Fekety's last over. And he finishes with 35. With no wickets are four. A little bit of a push, a bit of momentum here for the strikers. You're right, though, Junior. John O'Dean, he's come out and he's had intent. Hasn't he? That first ball that was a dot, he actually hit it right in the middle of the bat to mid off. And he's 11 off four. And he's just played. More orthodox shots. He hasn't really tried the reverse sweep or those sort of shots, but he's he is a little bit unorthodox the way he plays. He sits right back in the crease. He loves that cow corner area. Just like their helmets. The strikers have a flash of their lids. They've got the best helmets. No, I think they're anyway. winning that, yeah. I don't know if there's a trophy for it, but they've uh, yeah, they've got my three votes. Flash lids. Last over. Mitch McClinning and Debala. So this score's got up to, could get up to 160 odd. They get Townth is over, 163. Jake Lehman on strike, what can he do? <laughs> Plays it away. I don't think it'll be four, two. it'll be two out there. Ryan Gibson out there, I think, hasn't done much fielding, has he? Yeah. No. So Jake Lehman. He's just going at a run of ball, but just can he find the boundary twice? Just make it a big over. Get to 170. Yeah, just 171, again, Junior. 171, Junior. You like that? <laughs> 164 is the winning average bat first score. But as we said last year, seven teams chose to bat first in Big Bash cricket and all of them lost. So how does that play out tonight? Oh, it's wide and no ball called from square leg. So, no. you'll, yeah, you'll accept the no ball, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's a gutter ball. That one. That's, That's a gutter kind of ball. Land on the next trip. <laughs> so this this is huge consequences for this game because that's, that's your worst result. Could take you, they could get to, to 175. <laughs> He's lost his rudder. This, that was, yeah, that is a shocking delivery, to say the least. Well, it's the 11th. Yeah, no so you can ball. see it's that slower ball. So he is trying to get it to drop like that, but I think you're going to land it on the right, the pitch that you actually delivered it on. <laughs> That helps. It, yeah. I reckon it does, too. I was talking to the umpire, uh, umpire Greg Davison, out there before the game, boys, and he just mentioned that they've been told that anything line ball about waist high, they're calling them. Oh, he gets away with it. Oh, they run out. It. Run out. Good there. Oh, don't get in the way of him, Jake. Oh, it's on. Look out. Not again. Oh, no, he's straight up there, Jake Lehman. Hang on. Big fella's not happy either. No, he's smiling. What? So the benefit of that's going to the batsman, is it? Anything think around the belt buckle? Yeah, and, and that is on the back of the players being polled what they would like. Ooh, could have been another vicious collision there. Uh, the, the survey around the player group was that if it's, if it's on or around the belt line or waist high, that uh, if there's any doubt, call it a no ball. 
can only assume okay. that's to make it continue the entertainment. I don't think that I think the um, bowlers emails so didn't work to the bowlers. Let's watch John O'Dean here. <laughs> Didn't quite get in the middle. Oh, he'll get two. He'll get an extra one. No, he won't get two. No. Good recovery. Benny Roar was one of those ones that hit the toe of the bat and spun viciously when it hit the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Normally fills the fast bowls at home at that time. But Benny Roar, who's a good fieldsman. Very good fieldsman. I got done in three three times in one over down yeah. in uh, Launceston. Oh. Peter McIntyre didn't speak to me for a couple of years, Aussie Mac. Couldn't work out the spin. Flat. Nah, young fella kept charging straight at the ball and spun past me three times. The three balls left. Oh, it's another oh, place to no There's no man there, so it'll be a boundary. And we'll just watch. Has it been called? It's, it's got to be. It's, yeah. I'm not sure it is. Oh, hang on. No, didn't Ooh. call it. Jeez. So it's square leg umpire who's calling these. But I don't even understand that. I reckon the, the, the bowl, the, the umpire of the bowl, I think it's just as good a look no, as that. No, that's a no ball. That's, that's uh, easier no ball. Has been called in previous matches of this particular tournament. So oh. everything I've just told you there, they've gone against it. Oh, yes. that's, close. that's close again. Going to be caught, is it? It's oh. taken. A oh. bit of footwork there, Curtis Patterson. That's very close to hip high again, but it's going to be out. Lehman is gesturing to check. Simon. They're going to actually check this one, Gil. Are they going to check the delivery or the catch on the rope? Oh, he's talking about height, Jack Lehman. I don't know if it's up to the batsman to ask. I think we well, can suggest as you're walking off. But the one before was definitely a no ball. Yep. That one was fairly close. They're going to have a look at it. I actually think this one's OK. Didn't Live. look as high as the, Live, the previous okay. one. Yeah, yeah. He's lost his radar. I'll pinch McClanagan. He's thinking, just get me off this ground right now. <laughs> be hard to hit actually because he's just all over the shop at the moment so they're looking at the the boundary so they're not looking at the the waist high no ball no it's fine not even close it must have hit so high on the bat though june like when it was going down to jack lehman i thought this is going to go about 100 meters he'll be very disappointed lehman won't he'll feel like he should have put that up on yeah. the roof well he, he was gesturing that he thought it was around the, the belt buckle hip high again it's going to be out there. It is. He goes. Lehman for 23. And not happy at all. Well, he, he's thinking that should have been a free hit. Yeah. Because yep. the ball before was definitely a no ball. Anyway, he's gone. Well, we've got one ball left after all that. Uh, well, let's take one ball, though. Can you tell me it's going to take one ball? Because <laughs> well, if, what if I'm watching this over. The, if he aims for the light brown grass. <laughs> OK. That's right. a good start. There's not the green one. Rashid Khan is at the nine strikers in. So it's John O'Dean. He's 12 off five. He's given this. He could still hit a six to the biggest boundary. Here, John this, O'Dean. He's a, a nice little high. bit of impetus, hasn't he, Flam? He's set deep in the crease. Three out on the leg side. Short, oh, that's a good bit of work there. They get through for the, the bite. It's a good thinking from Rashid Khan. An eventful close to this striker's innings. Signal there's a bye there. Six for one, six, three are the strikers. Plenty to talk about there, boys. Yeah, it was a wild finish by Mitch McClanagan, but uh, the strikers in the end did OK. They had a very lean patch there from about the 15 over mark, the 18 over mark. Um, I, I think it's not a bad score. The pitch looked like it slowed up a bit as the ball got softer, so they're in the game. Yeah, they were one for 89 off uh, 9.4, the ball before Travis Head got out, so they were looking at 190, 200, but maybe it does slow up with that older white Kookaburra ball. And uh, Bakary was quite impressive, 44 off 26, but near the off spinner who got hit for six first ball, fought back really well, and McClanagan, well, well, was everything, wasn't it, really? Two for 37, but, uh, well, I can't wait to see this chase. Yeah, 164 for the Thunder to get their second wing. Homegrown hero coming up, and Brad Hodge will talk to him. It's the Big Bash, live and exclusive on Network 10. Christmas.
time, everybody eats food, everybody drinks wine. It's Christmas, it's Christmas time. Auntie feels good, and my name feels fine. Christmas, it's Christmas time. Even though I wanna leave, I gotta spend time. It's Christmas, once a year with the family. It's with them you're gonna spend your life. It's a lovely day today. So whatever you've got to do, you've got a lovely day to do it in. That's true. And I hope whatever you've got to do, something that can be done by two. For I'd really like to stay. It's a lovely day. A message to the sleep poor. Join the sleep rich. Try the Eve mattress with our 100 night trial. If you don't sleep better, we'll pick it up again for free. We've all seen the stories coming out of Syria. Over 8 million Syrian children have had their childhoods torn apart by war. So many have lost their family, their home, their school. For these children, happiness is a distant memory. I can't bear the thought of young children suffering like this and yet their nightmare gets worse because winter is here. Frightened children face freezing temperatures with no way of keeping warm. Without shelter and blankets, these children will struggle to survive. Yet just three pounds could help buy a life-saving thermal blanket. Please text blanket to 70030 to give three pounds. UNICEF is on the ground providing blankets, food, clean water and medicine to keep children safe and warm. But as temperatures fall, more and more children need our help. So please, text BLANKET to 70030. Please help make sure no child is left in the cold this winter. Try Lee Harmony for free. eHarmony.co.uk, the brains behind the butterflies. Join free today. I've heard a lot in my time. He's dropped some politicians. Police, kings, and queens. Life's more interesting when you listen. Audible. Download your first audiobook for free. The ship is trapped. BB-8 can set it free. But after a while, his batteries aren't strong enough. With Duracell's best formula, your BB-8 toy performs stronger for longer. So you've got the power to escape the dark side. And lasts up to 15 hours longer in your lightsaber toy. Duracell Ultra Power. Stronger power for longer. Star Wars The Last Jedi. Only in cinemas. Football. 90 minutes where anything can happen. You can watch it and you can get involved in it with the latest Coral Action. At Coral, get double your winnings if your team wins both halves in the Arsenal-Liverpool match. Coral, jump in. Available from App Store and now Google Play when the fun stops, stop. What would you do if you were in an emergency and you needed cash? I don't know. Cut. Cut? What would you do? Well, I personally would go to Cash Lady. Join the TV advertising revolution. Search Gorillascope. Battle lines were drawn. Not a pretty picture. We're talking about viciously competitive people. We all want to be good. They hate me. I hate them. Our relationship is simple. The gloves are off now. No trap. This year's unmissable box sets available to buy now through the BT Player from BT TV. To the Adelaide Oval, let's take a look now. The Rex under pressure moment as we see there a magnificent catch down offside by Joss Butler. Travis Head, the batsman, near the bowler now. Obviously, misread by Head, only getting the bottom edge there, but a wonderful take by Josh Butler up to the stump, wearing the helmet now. He was hit uh, in, the, in the head the other night, so obviously no concerns for Josh Butler and a terrific take by him and really putting the brakes on the Adelaide Strikers innings until right at the end where they got a little bit of...
of motor into it. They said 164 to fall to Sydney Thunder for victory. Now we need a little bit of help for one of your features, uh, one of our features in the innings break this year for BBL over seven. We're asking viewers to send in your homegrown hero, the guy or girl at your local cricket club who deserves a big pat on the back. Simply send us a pic to 10play.com.au forward slash PO and tell us why they're a legend. They could win a fantastic 10-night PO Discover Vanuatu cruise for two adults and two kids aboard the Pacific Explorer. Plus, you could win a three-night PO comedy cruise for two and a thousand dollar gift card for your heroes club. Now let's go up to the governor himself, Mark Warp Jr. Tell us who is tonight's hero. Yeah, good day, Rog. Uh, tonight's PO homegrown hero is Rod Plucker Taylor from the Cooper Cricket Club in Queensland. Rob is a life member and multiple premiership winner at the club. Plucker is also the club's dedicated stats man. He takes the scorebooks home. He works tirelessly on updating the club website, Facebook, and my cricket pages. Apparently, Plucker Taylor is a better stats man than our own Laurie Colliver. Geez, he'd want to be good. Anyway, congratulations, Plucker. You are tonight's PO homegrown hero. Well done, Plucker. I find it hard to believe that you're better than our own Laurie Colliver. That's uh, that's a bit of a stretch for sure. Yeah, you have to be good. Junior, we uh, we looked at the pitch before the game and it looked an absolute ride, a great batting deck. Do you feel that the strikers are perhaps a little bit short, left a few out there, and your uh, your Thunder can chase this one down? Well, I thought watching the first ten overs it was a very, very good batting pitch, but then it started to slow up and just holding the pitch a bit, so it might not be as flat as we thought it was at the start of the innings, but I still think if the Thunder under bat well, Josh Butler and Shane Watson. They're the two key players. Curtis Patterson at the top of the order. He's due for a big score. If the Thunder bat well, they should still get these runs. Yeah, they've certainly got some firepower, especially at the top of the order. Thank you very much, Junior. We look forward to the Sydney Thunder coming up after the break. Don't forget the Crash the Bash is back for another BBL season. Christy Best and Lee Castledine will have all the fun and excitement of the Big Bash. Pack with stunts, dares and, of course, slime. Kids, make sure you catch it tomorrow morning from 11.35am on 11. Compliments of the season. The final pre-Christmas test and your Saturday evening starts here. Burnley have been quite hot stuff here. That is sensational from Harry Kane. And another one for Tottenham Hotspur's master marksman. What a goal! An absolute rocket! What a vital goal that might be for the team from Turf 4. Burnley will be right up for this game. Season's greetings to everyone. Being from the olden days, Royal London know that someday pretty much everyone could get seriously ill. <gasps> Even you? Yeah, and you. What's the point? Oh. That's why some of their life insurance plans come with help in hand. You get your own dedicated nurse and other things like second medical opinions and help at home. You might not want to, but ask your financial advisor about help in hand today. Quiff. The betting app where every time you place a bet, your odds might get quiffed. But how does quiff work? You're placing a bet with normal odds, and suddenly your odds might get supercharged from 4 to 1 to 40 to 1. Yeah, it happens. Like Adam from Clitheroe. He placed a bet on PSG to beat Celtic and got his odds supercharged from 11 to 8 to 80 to 1. His 5-pound bet won him 400 pounds. It's perfectly normal until it's quiffed. I'm in the emergency room of a health centre. There's blood all over the floor and there's injured patients lying on all the beds. Heavy bombing just nearby. And there's a six-year-old boy here with a piece of shrapnel in his eye. He's being very brave. To have cholera hit this community is really devastating. The treatment we're giving here is basically a solution of sugar, salt and water, which is enough to help people survive from cholera. But it makes it more devastating to realise that a lot of people can't access this very simple cure. The situation is very sad because now we're receiving more and more patients that are arriving in shock. They're unconscious, they're in a very bad way.
Doctors and nurses from MSF are working as hard as they can, but conditions are difficult and supplies are running low. Please search MSF help and give £28.44. This could buy 36 IV bags. For someone with cholera, IV treatment can be life-saving. Search MSF help now. This really is an emergency. Please don't wait. Whenever muscular pain strikes, I believe gel is clinically proven to work as fast, as powerfully, and as effectively as ibuprofen pills. Right at the point of pain, I believe Max Strength Gel. There's no stronger ibuprofen gel to fight pain. The ship is trapped. BB-8 can set it free. But after a while, his batteries aren't strong enough. With Duracell's best formula, your BB-8 toy performs stronger for longer. So you've got the power to escape the dark side. And lasts up to 15 hours longer in your lightsaber toy. Duracell Ultra Power. Stronger power for longer. Star Wars The Last Jedi. Only in cinemas. This is nice. The arch could have been gold, Mr. Trick. Not great. I'm a very smart guy. And if you're smart like me, I highly think you should watch the third round. Beautiful round. The Emirates FA Cup and BT Sport trumps all other competitions. Trust me, I know. It's time! Well, Brad Hodge, he was in blue last year. He was leading the strikers. We were out in the field now, but now he's in red. And last night, he opened his account, and the Renegades opened their account down there in Hobart. It was smiles all around. He's a terrific character in the game. He's been a good friend of the Big Bash commentary team. He joins us now. Oh, Hodge, back to chat, mate. Well Gilly, done. how's things? Yeah, good. Well done last night, but uh, big game tomorrow night, the first home game for the Renegades. Huge game, actually. So, I'll be really looking forward to getting to Etihad Stadium. We're facing the heat, and we're going to have to try and nullify the Big Bash brothers. I believe Santa Claus is going to be in town, too. Is that right? Santa's coming in, yeah, so I'll be, uh, well, I won't be escorting my kids to the ground, but I'll be coming along for a look. I think Dirk Nannis is going to bring my kids to see Santa along the way, so <laughs> it'll be a pretty cool event tomorrow for sure. And what about the, the coach, Andrew McDonald? Very happy with the result last night. It was pretty good for him. I thought our performance was really good. Um, you know, I thought we actually executed all our plans pretty well. Strategically, we, you know, we batted well. I thought Cam's partnership with, with Harry, uh, you know, the first... You know, when Finchie left early, I thought that was a really good building unit. And then, uh, you know, it was, it was just a good, solid victory. All right, Hodge, we're just going to get you to hold on the line there, mate, if you can. The players are all out in the middle of the ground here. They're all set to go, so we might uh, get some further insight from you. You always provide us with some wonderful colour. But at the moment, it's the Thunder. 164 is the run chase. Josh Butler pulling away as the ground announcer continues to stream no, directly. Someone so. walking past the side screen. This happened <laughs> through the test series as well. Oh, now he's, oh, he's going to perch himself right He can't stay the there, mate. So it's the leg spin of Colin Ingram that is going to open up here. The bulldozer's got the white bulldozer. I don't, I don't reckon they'll be able to start here. The, the, the guy is there for. Can we get it? The guy is actually crouching down right behind he Ingram's arm. Just wave so, his arms around down there, eh? Oh, there so, he is. That man there. <laughs> They've lost control here without Hodgie here, haven't they? That's uh, Bowles what's legs going on, but it's Ingram. Ingram. Bowling to Butler. Yep. And that should be a boundary to open the account. The chase is on, but the ball wins. So it's yeah, a good start to the Thunder. Yeah, good shot too. It was a fresh and short, wasn't it? Not a lot of width in it, but pumped away by Butler. Uh, Hodgie, mate, is there going to be any uh, innovations in the T20 Big Bash this season? We, yep. we no, I'm not talking to Hodgie now. Okay, we'll, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we'll talk to him at the end of the day, but it's a good start by Butler anyway, back here. And he drags that one, and that's going to be back-to-back -back boundaries. The worst possible start for the home team. The Thunder flying. I think the new ball is going to be crucial to get runs before that softer ball. Does start to slip on the pitch, but uh, great start. I do you? question starting with the leg yeah. spin. I, I like the finger spinners. They've got a lot more control. And um, Ingram, I think he's got 50 first-class wickets, but uh, doesn't hasn't bowled regularly. No. Lovely, mate. That's Lovely, a better mate. delivery. Get it up there. No turn. In the test here, 
for Butler is not to get too greedy. And he did well there, played the ball on its merits, but you know, if there's another one dragged down, go after it if he gets a full toss, but don't try to make something now. I reckon You've got tuck eight. in, tuck in. Ooh. You can't do much with that. Unlike like yourself, Gilly, when you used to. <laughs> used to keep coming down. <laughs> Mate, you can have a look just at it. get through the first balls. five overs, Gil. Cool. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Five overs, <laughs> mate. Just, just try to be here then, and then we'll reassess her. <laughs> and you were 50. No, I was panting. Yeah, you're not either out of 50, one of the two. That. He hit the ground then. He did, did he? Butler, trying to go mid on, I think. It's actually landed him OK, apart from one delivery. Ingram. Left-hander on strike now. Curtis Patterson took... A long time to get his runs the other night to yeah. uh, spotless. He actually hit the ball well, but he, he just found that the fieldsman a lot and he got a bit frustrated. So is that good batting or poor batting? No, no poor batting, but he's, he's actually playing well. He's just got to relax a bit more and, and stop trying too hard, I think. Maybe look at the gaps and not the, not the man. Look up. One to come in the opening over. We'll continue to chat to Brad Hodge after this delivery. Big side, waits the call, no run. So uh, a good effort by Ingram to peg it back there. Nine off the first over. Hodgie, you still there, mate? Hodgie there. Yeah, I've got you, Gilly. <laughs> Do you want me to ask the question I was going to ask? Hodgie. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, we've seen a lot of innovations each year in the T20. Do you think there's going to be something different this season from any of the teams? Like We're seeing oh. spinners open the bowling a lot. Is there something we can look out for? Oh, I think that's probably a trend that a lot of teams will go towards. And then, the, you know, it's it's used overseas, predominantly in Asia. But here, you're just trying to use some creativity, put batsmen under pressure. I think the skill level's been taken to such a, a high level that we have to try and nullify their skill sets. So, you know, a little creativity like Ingram open to bowling. It doesn't matter. Most bowlers go for 10 and over in the first six power plays. So whether it's a part-timer or a frontline bowler, it's, it's pretty much irrelevant these days. It's more your back-end bowling, your middle-end bowling, middle section that's vitally important. Billy Stanlake, he's going to have uh, the second over here. He's played a lot of cricket, top-level cricket anyway recently. That's going to be a wide. So we'll hang on to you, Hodgie, in between deliveries here with the quicker bowler bowling. And... They tell me the Renegades have notched up a record membership already this have, year, but there's still room available if people want to get on there at getonred.com.au. What's the atmosphere like around the camp, particularly after that win last night? Oh, it's great. Everyone's excited. Yeah, I think membership's been pushed up above 9,000. Yeah. And uh, I think the local boys have contributed to that, so good signing by the Renegades. There's a few, uh, few Black Rock primary kids yeah. have jumped on board, so that's nice. So you're we'll, claiming um, it, you? are claiming it? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm claiming some, yeah, a little <laughs> bit, yeah, of course. Probably two or three memberships out of the Hodge household. That's probably <laughs> where I contributed. Yeah. But uh, it's good for us. Hey, Hodgie, um, at Eddie Had, don't be frightened if you see an elephant running around the outground. It is fake, OK? Uh, what about <laughs> DJ Bravo last night? How brilliant was he with his five wickets? And did you catch up with him after the game? No one sees him, Flem, no apart sees from him. game time. No, no, oh. no one sees him. He's a, he's a bit of an enigma um, <laughs> around the group. And uh, he just comes out when the, the flashy lights are on and the, and the script's there to play cricket. And the DJ, whether he's you know, mixing the records or playing the cricket. Champion. Yeah, it's, he's there, he's there when the action's on. Hey, Hodge, what about your own game, mate? Did you actually hit him pretty well the other night? Do you still think that uh, you're in pretty good touch? No, oh, good touch, Junior. Yeah. I think that, you're looking you know, trim too, of, mate. No, I've tried to sharpen up a little bit, you know, get the hair nice and tight for the big bash. Um, I think one of the things is that physically you have to be really switched on to mix it with the young guys. I think that's one thing that, you know, you don't want to look sloppy in the field. You have to be, you know, attractive somewhat in the field and do your job pretty well. So no coach likes to see you lumbering around the field. So <laughs> fitness, is, fitness is a big point. Good stuff. I noticed you had the ears tucked under the new Renegades cap there, Hodgie, but what did you make of... Uh of the Hobart Hurricanes, there was a lot of talk about their pace bowling unit, their pace on the ball. Is that did that help you guys, or uh, and, and you know, and how nasty are they? Well, they were nasty. Yeah, they were gilly. We talked about um, you know post game, and they definitely had some ball speed for sure. Mills and uh, and Joffre were pretty quick. Um, but what mixed it well is they also had good changes of pace. So you can see that I think they're going to be a handful throughout the big bash. They're yes. probably two pretty good, pretty good signings, I reckon. Yeah. And was it pleasing last night? You know, well, Aaron Finch missed out, but Marcus Harris really stood up there. I mean, he was promising last year. Do you reckon he can go another step this uh, summer? 
Well, definitely. Um, I mean, Finch is in great touch, and he, he'll probably leave us halfway during the tournament, but he's going to have an impact, a huge impact while he's here. And I think that long list of batting allows him to play with that, you know, huge freedom at the top. And Marcus is in phenomenal form. In, in fact, you know, I wouldn't be surprised further down the track he represents Australia in, in a couple of forms of the game because he's a naturally gifted hitter. Um, gun four-day record for Victoria coming across from WA and strikes it pretty well. You can see if a little guy packs a big punch and can knock it out of the park. Well, good on you, mate. Well, no one packs a bigger punch than you and has done in BBL cricket. So uh, thanks for joining us. Of course, tomorrow is a WBBL BBL doubleheader. So you get two for the price of one, but all the best with the rest of the season, mate. Thanks, Gilly. Thanks, Good luck on your Hodgie. He's a legend in the Hodgie. Yeah, I reckon. Always got something interesting to add. And uh, you know, I think the strikers will miss him. It's the Renegades game, but Stanlake operating here. It was a nice boundary for Patterson earlier in that over. It's uh, seven runs off the second over, number for 16. Bet Boost from William Hill lets you decide which odds you want to boost. All you need to do is select your market, go to your bet slip, hit boost, and then place your bet at the boosted price. Don't wait for enhanced or crowd-led prices. We're giving you your own bet boost every day to use on any sport. More choice, more control, and now available on Google Play. William Hill, this is more. Oh, the big bird flying in there, the Qantas plane. I must say thank you to the ground staff at Adelaide Airport today. I got off my, my flight from Perth, boys. Got to the hotel. I, I, I saw a, a lady left an iPad on her seat. I pointed it out to the staff and they scrambled and gave it to her. And I thought, oh, imagine leaving something like that and realising an hour later when you'd left the airport, got to your hotel. I opened my bag and I'd left all my notes in the back of the seat in front of me. But anyway, they found it for me. Peter Siddle <laughs> comes into the attack. His first delivery in the blue of the Adelaide Strikers. It's a, a straight swap. Hodge goes. Siddle comes in from the Renegades. What a terrific player this bloke has been for Australia. 211 test wickets, just one behind your good mate Merv Hughes. Merv, from Merv reminds him every time they catch up there, and a high score of, I think, 72, and Pete's is 62. So Merv's right into it. <laughs> First big bash game since January 19, 2015. So third man's up. It's a confident stroke, but call of no. He doesn't vary it too much, Peter Siddle, but straight away, he owns a good line and length. Yeah, he's got it. So you take a risk taking him on. Well, yeah. I don't agree with that. I actually think it's the other way around for him. And because he hits a good line length, I don't think there's much risk in coming at him. Running okay. Down the wicket. You, what about much... that just that extra bounce? Well, yeah, he's maybe. Not, he's not he, a he's sort of bowler I think you could get down the wicket okay. too. Yeah. I normally oh, you would, but I'm not going to on this occasion. Yeah, great image there. Bounce is his the only saviour, I reckon. High above the Adelaide Oval, there's a man out in the deep. There's sweepers on both sides of the ground. No third man or fine leg. So Billy Stanlake's first over was pretty good. Yep. We were talking to Hodgie. He's Fast. come back from an infected toe, a bad toe infection. It's kept him out of cricket for quite a while. Well, they said, Laurie Culver said his last competitive match at this level was for the Royal Challengers Bangalore in the IPL in, in April. Yeah, well, I think he had a stress in his back originally and then a toe infection well he's been nursed for the last couple of years really he was on well he played, he played for australia in the t20s early this this year well he played a one day game played MCG he, bowled, the he played it up at the gabba and he got through a few That's overs right. what a view Adelaide oval a lit under the floodlights one of the world leading venues for any sport afl played here I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful stadium. They've got an absolutely magnificent restaurant here, the Hill of Grace restaurant. Okay. Where you can get high quality wine. Top wine going around and, and sit in comfort. Not to this, not much comfort anywhere in this ground. It's all comfortable. Seat. And when did you use those facilities? Well, we got invited there after the, the day's play in the test match. Oh, okay. Oh, creative, but it's risky and it's gone. The downfall of Butler. He was eyeing off. There was no third man of fine leg. He tried to get there. 
You know, and he's finding his way into the safe hands of Billy Stanlake. Yeah, pretty tall dismissal that one. Sidsy about six foot three, Billy seven foot. Getting funky, Junior. Yeah, look, been against it on the Bunnings Warehouse replay the whole game, and it's brought the dismissal of Butler. Yeah, look, he's very good at that shot, uh, Josh Butler. He can play those shots. Peter Siddle's real happy. His first wicket for a couple of years, and Billy Stanlake uh, made it awkward, but he caught it. It's a big wicket, big blow for the Thunder. Butler's gone for 10, it's one for 17. We can cross continents and time zones at the mere touch of a button. The moment the game changes is the moment we see it. I miss nothing. We are members of the world's favourite online sports betting company and we gamble responsibly at Bet365. The skipper Shane Watson now to the match in the opening match of BBL 7. 77 of just 46 deliveries, six fours, six sixes. A very impressive performance, a real statement at the start of the tournament. But he's in a little bit earlier than he would have liked tonight. It's a good batting surface, but we've seen a number of players, gentlemen, try and play those ramp oh, type yeah. shots. Give no it away. one, no Give one that has shot been productive. Away. See some orthodox batting. It wasn't still pumped up. Was he? Joining a new team, you just want to make an impression straight away. He was fired up. It's a key wicket, this one. Jesse batted well the other night, Shane Watson. He turned the clock back. Beautiful timing of the ball. It's a third man for Watson. Good delivery, well played. Good test match cricket there. After three, one for 17. Beautiful city of Adelaide, and the glow is the Adelaide Oval, and it's a buzz at the moment because of the big breakthrough from Peter Siddle in his first match for the Adelaide Strikers. He's come across the border from Victoria. Big bash cricket, it looked like a nice change in pace of the delivery, and look at him fire. <laughs> Thank you, I'm on the board from a new adopted team. We're in the game. Big giraffe catching, wasn't he, Billy? <laughs> the deck, didn't he? Now, That's fast. I just noticed before we showed that replay, Curtis Patterson hit another ball to the fields when you saw him throw his head back. He did yeah. this the other night. He's getting frustrated. I reckon Shane Watson's going to have to be pretty much in his ear here saying, don't worry, get one through, you'll, you'll be right. Because he's actually timing the ball quite nicely, but you can see him getting frustrated. Yeah, well, he's yeah. six off ten again. Yeah. But good speed really? from Stan. Like, you know, this is why... Everyone's excited about him because he actually bowls quick, good release. He can yeah. actually get the ball to swing into left-handers. An agile. Oh. Seen some amazing work this summer of big, quick bowlers off their own bowling, haven't we? Hazelwood the oh. other day in the Mitchell test. Stark. Uh, Mitchell Stark. But this is good from Big Billy. Yeah, he's getting definitely in frustrating passes. He's hit two or three good shots to Fields when it mid-off and cover. There's a maximum speed, 145, so he's into his work nicely. Very, I think he'll very. get quicker the more he plays too. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, he hasn't played a lot of cricket. Look forward to when he can have a real good run at it. Thick outside edge, scoots across this beautiful surface here at Adelaide, but well done down on the boundary. Back for two, very hard at that pace to play that sort of hoik to the leg side. As a left-hander, I know the ball with the right arm delivery going across it, you're sort of wrestling against the pace all the time. And you really, if you don't get it perfectly, you bring in every sort of catching area, don't you? Top edge to third man. You could splice it out towards that deep backward square. The crowd That's are good. loving this. Siddle has ignited the Adelaide crowd. Good bowling. I, I, I think for Patterson, I think we've got a Hawkeye here. 
the weak zone, Harvey Norman Hawkeye. You just see shorter length than both bowlers. Even Siddle's a bouncy bowler, so that's his cold zone. But what he needs to do is actually angle the bat. Get that the third man, get that through back yeah. the point. He's playing get off the straight bat all the time. So you're saying he hits at one speed as well? well <laughs> just just with a yeah, basically, but the same angle of his bat all the time. And he goes across the line again. Oh, just no. for the one. How yeah, good were those seats man. that we just saw there, June, from the chopper? You can good. do the roof climb and get up and watch the game from there. One for 20 or four. Introducing the new Burger King Long Pepperoni Burger. Two flame grilled burgers, cheese, barbecue sauce and yummy pepperoni. Now in a king box with fries, nuggets and a drink for just $4.99. Only at Burger King. Stand out from the crowd. TV advertising has never been so easy. A message to the sleep poor. Join the sleep rich. Try the Eve mattress with our 100 night trial. If you don't sleep better, we'll pick it up again for free. Well, the light show in effect, not just the floodlights, the roof's lighting up, in tune with the music in between overs. Great atmosphere at every big bash venue around Australia. Siddle continues. Again, it's a straight bat shot down the ground. It brings about a single and junior. Just to further explore that, so you think Patterson just needs to find a way to stay leg side of the ball and bring about a more angled I bat just, shot. I just think use the angles more. He's hitting a lot of balls straight back to cover mid off. So the right handed bowling over the wicket's angling slightly across him. So he could be using that angle to hit through more backward point and gully and that sort of area. Maybe just give yourself a little bit of room. Bat on leg stump. Yep. Um, most left handers love to sort of hit through that well, gully region, don't they? Point exactly. region. And you think Brendan McCullum, although he's a right hander, gets himself well leg side and plays those blazing sort of square cut shots. That immediately means the bowler has to consider something else. Yeah. They can't just nestle in on that length. So it's it's obviously at that length that they've been hitting the cold zone you pointed out, Flemo. They're not hitting the stumps. You're at no risk of being bowled. They need to find a way to get busy. Yeah, you just got to use the angles a bit better. There's the hot zone for Shane Watson, 24% last year. Didn't score a lot of runs last year, but um, he's got a good hot zone through cow corner as well against the spinners. They're, they're probably his two areas. But Siddle's honing in on that front pad, isn't he, Flemo? <laughs> Wonder why. Well, he got too greedy with it, didn't he? It was too much leg side, but good work again. Mark Wall called in the giraffe, but he's moving yeah, beautifully. Big, fella. big giraffe. So that More run. like something out of your, your <laughs> racehorse. Uh, yeah, good movement there. Yeah. Set up. <laughs> but that run race just sneaking up uh, up to 9.23 now. It's been unusual as well. The leg spinner didn't really work with the first over, um, but the strikers have gone with two overs from Siddle, two from Stanlake. So they're happy to actually go a bit more traditional. Well, I reckon they'd like to get quicks. three or four out of Siddle up front. With this they? new ball. Yep. Still not hurting him. Just no. two off the over. It's good control from Siddle. So hasn't played for a couple of years. Ten balls, seven dot balls. One for three. Yeah, oh, really yeah. healthy crowd in, boys. Just oh, yeah. uh, an update five minutes ago. 36,061. Looks like a skinny chumby. He does, doesn't he? So uh, we've become accustomed to sellouts later on in the big bass season here at Adelaide, but that's very healthy pre-Christmas numbers. What a spectacle. And brilliant to see Peter Siddle bouncing in. He's had some injury troubles, well, throughout his career, but certainly the last 12 months didn't play in BBL 6. He's got his tail up here. And it'll just be another single. That's good running off the boundary from John O. Wells. We've seen him do it over the years for a variety of teams. Yeah. Works really hard. Decent size boundary on that side of the ground too. But Sid's but yeah. you're gonna get up there. <laughs> Actually, that's right behind the that's bowl the side. Of the too, yeah. no, no, that's right above us. Above us. Would you be able to see the pitched outside leg stuff? <laughs> You want to get too excited and jump up for the appeal, would you? Oh, oh he's down. <laughs> Over she goes. That's awesome. What a venue. Great images there. And the boys at Network 10 up in the chopper. Another tight delivery. Great work from Siddle. Five gone, one for 23. With a smart meter, you can see exactly how much energy you're using to the penny. 
helping you understand how a few simple changes around the home can reduce your energy and lower your monthly bill. Contact your energy supplier today about getting your smart meter at no extra cost. Rematch last year's finalists. The Sixers take on the Scorchers. Only difference will be over at the SCG 4 p.m. And look at that bottom line there. Ross Kelly, Mel Jones, Mark Warren, Graham Swan. It's the big bash. It continues tomorrow. A double header. Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 4 p.m. Big games, big rematch there. The Scorchers' first game. They're a bit depleted from their original squad. Selections for the Australian team. Injuries. A few injuries. Yeah. Benny Lachlan into the bowling lineup, and immediately that little Ooh. loopy type delivery. He's got some wonderful changes. You'll want to change Flem after that one. Well, you see, that's actually fuller than that cold zone and a little bit of width. And Pattinson enjoyed that six times last year. Ben Lachlan bowled the sixth over. You can see it's a change of pace straight away. And even though he didn't get in the middle of the bat, he enjoyed just to get a little bit of full delivery from a smaller bowler so the bounce wasn't a factor. And there he goes again. So the change of bowling just freed up Pattinson a little bit. Six off two balls. Interesting. Two slow balls to start with for the hard new ball. I'd be tending to bowl seam up. Maybe mix it up a bit more than that. But um, It doesn't bowl a lot of just stock balls. No, he doesn't. It's a lot of variety. But, yeah, I agree. Sometimes he starts with a bouncer even. Yeah, he's got a good You know, bouncer. just to test out the pace and the bounce of the pitch. So he could have started with that type of delivery. That's the one he's been struggling with. And then you set them up for that slow ball. Well, especially your first couple of balls, sometimes you're not... It's not easy to bowl a, a slow ball, your first ball, is it? You like to get into your rhythm a little bit, but... Uh, that's the way he's gone. He's a wicket taker though, Ben Lachlan. Very good T20 bowler. Can be expensive at times, but he's got the three good stock deliveries, a Yorker, Bouncer and a slow ball, hasn't he? Ticks them. The batsman's got something to think about. What is he going to bowl next? It's the interesting thing of that previous delivery. Patterson continued to play with that straight bat, mid-off back now. So an opportunity for him just to start to get a little bit of momentum in his innings, 18 off 19 balls. Watson, he's been conservative, one off five. Can't get it through. And uh, we talked about Graham Swan joining tomorrow night, Junior. We heard his little, uh, I suppose, a little crack at you. Yeah, yeah. I'll get back at him. What, what should I do? He should be ready loaded. He's he's a man of many different impersonations. He's, yeah, boycott. So, yeah, he Peterson, does. Peterson, KP. Does. Ooh. Watson punches hard to the leg side. One bounce, four. Just releases the pressure for the Thunder. I think it's another slow ball, too. It is, so yeah. it's, it's not it's not variety. You know, there's the three deliveries you were saying. Um, we're really saying the slower ball, every ball. And I don't think it is a surprise to someone like Watson, who was batted so well in that first game. I mean, he is hitting the ball beautifully. Well, just hitting the deck on a length has been working for Stan Lake yep. and Siddle. Nice and straight. So Carved down the ground for a single. It ends the power play. Strikers will be happy with that end result. One for 35. And, yeah, you mentioned some of the impersonations from Graham Swan and the man you just mentioned, Kevin Peters, and he might have featured, Junior. Oh, he features a lot, AP. Will the Stars finally win a big bash? Maybe. Now Hussey has left. I never rated Mark. Dave, there are two of them. <laughs> Taking pot shots at everyone, Swan, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's generally going at brothers, isn't he? Yes, there's yeah. a theme there. There's yeah. a theme. I think he does a good Liam Gallagher from O Aces as well. He does. He does very, very well. good. So he'll be on tomorrow night. The Sydney Six is hosting. Oh, I'm excited the about this. Yeah, 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 here we go. Too, don't they? Yeah, no, yeah, if it's super overs, history of those. Rashid Khan, Afghanistan. This is brilliant, isn't it? We saw it last night. Nabi from Afghanistan yeah. to see these players, these associate cricketing nations who are now, have been given test status, boys. So they'll yeah. start playing at the highest level. But this fella, little big raps on him. Ball's quite quick, Gilly. He's got a very quick arm speed. It's been very good. In four first-class games, he's taken 35 wickets in <laughs> Afghanistan. Yeah. No, it, it's been, yeah, away from home, Mark. <laughs> He played a fair bit of cricket in the UAE region. And that one has uh, won the race. 
Siddle wanted it, he couldn't get there. Yeah, he said he was quick through the airflow, 96 k's that one, and it actually helped Shane Watson to get that down to third man. So he debuted for his country as a 17-year-old, and he was bought by Tom Moody, coach of the Sunrisers Hyderabad for the IPL earlier this year. Spoke to David Warner, who captains, uh, captains him at the Sunrisers in the IPL. He just said, really fast, really good leg spinner. Can't wait to see Rashid Khan bowl tonight. Play straight is the only advice. He says his stock ball's really a, a shorter one. He says his bad ball, Davey Warner said, really his bad ball's a really full one. But the pace with which it comes down the short one, you, you hook and cut and pull it, your peril. Full there, they're going to push for two. Unlikely. There you go. We've got some good intel good on intel. Uh, Rashid. We, we took 17 wickets. So he was the, the IPL. Yeah. 14 games. Looks like he spins it both ways. So you, you're not going to just confront pace, bounce, but also leg spinners and wrong it. And I spoke to Chris Lynn about Shadab Khan up there at the heat, and I said, in training, have you faced him much? And he said it was amazing batting under lights compared to daylight. Very difficult to pick out of the hand under the lights. That's quick. Oh, it was up -ish. But it's found its way into the gap. Four more. I reckon that was the wrong one. And it, it was, was short and it's short. wide to start. And then it spun away, which actually gave Patterson more. Let's have a look at his action, though. It looks quite extreme. I don't think he's bowling at 12 o'clock. I reckon he's going at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> look at that. Right over. Doesn't get a lot out of his front, front arm. Front arm, no. Well, that was quick again. 99 k's an hour Ooh, and aggressive. full. Yeah, look. The <laughs> eyes. staring at Patterson or the wicketkeeper? <laughs> I'd imagine it's the batsman. So the crowd just silenced somewhat by the boundary. Yeah, yeah, Another yeah. wrong one there. I'll tell you what, that, that game, the heat, I've never seen such a quieter crowd when they were bowling. Yeah. The other night. Against the Stars. This is quiet. When Stornos was mm. smoking, didn't he? What a great knock. Just that was unbelievable, wasn't it? In front it? of the, the crowd would just you could hear a yeah. pin drop yep. for about 20 overs. Just genuine power from Marcus Stornos. A lot of it were just expense, ex expansions of his forward oh, defence, and they were going for six. Well watched by Watson. It was another wrong, and, and they well say done. no. Wisely done. 11 runs from the first Rashid Khan over. One for 46, the Thunder. Quiff. The betting app where every time you place a bet, your odds might get quiffed. But how does quiff work? You're placing a bet with normal odds, and suddenly your odds might get supercharged from 4 to 1 to 40 to 1. Yeah, it happens. Like Adam from Clitheroe. He placed a bet on PSG to beat Celtic and got his odds supercharged from 11 to 8 to 80 to 1. His 5-pound bet won him 400 pounds. It's perfectly normal until it's quiffed. Great atmosphere as always at the Adelaide Oval. Next to back, Rora, Gibson and Nair for the Sydney Thunder. Started to increase the run rate a little bit here, Patterson and Watson. Five boundaries between them. The strikers captain, Travis Head, gets the ball in hand for the first time tonight. He'll bowl some off spinners. Decent bowl, Travis Head, isn't he? He's yeah. improved every year. He's... He often sneaks one in the power play, but they're yeah. winning room tonight. Yeah. I thought he might have taken the new ball, actually. What I might line up, Travis Head, here, that slog sweep. It's a big boundary out there on the leg side, though. The bigger boundary, square of the wicket. Just opened his stance up there. Small oh, straight away, Junior's called it. There's a man coming in. Settles underneath it. That's a massive blow. Travis Head, the captain. Immediate breakthrough. Dismisses the opposition skipper. Huge blow. Yeah, it didn't take him long to play a slog, slog sweep, but unfortunately, you've got to hit it in the middle out that side of the ground. It's pretty big out there, and Travis said he can get wickets, and that's a huge one. Shane Watson batted superbly in the first game. Here's the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Just got it too high, didn't he? A bit of edge in it. John O. Wells has got a safe pair of hands, and that's a huge wicket. What well, I'm not happy. The skipper's gone. Captain versus captain. Not good flame for the Thunder. The skipper's gone. Two for 46.
Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men. TV advertising has never been so easy. Search Gorillascope. A message to the sleep poor. Join the sleep rich. Try the Eve mattress with our 100 night trial. If you don't sleep better, we'll pick it up again for free. Back at the Adelaide Oval. The crowd enjoyed that. Travis Head enjoyed it. Shane Watson tried to let Travis Head know early who was going to dominate, but it was uh, certainly a points victory there. That, well, it was a knockout blow, really, Flemo. That's a big, big wicket. You suspect that Shane Watson needed to go deep into this innings. Well, I think the governor was worried. He got a vibe that Watto was going to take him on first ball. It's just a big and he's out. Interesting to see if Travis said brings the field up for Ryan Gibson, the new batsman. I'd be tempted to bring both mid on and mid off both up. Well, at eight, least, eight at off least seven one of deliveries them. in the opening match. At least one of them. Ryan Gibson. Well, you can't imagine him going over the top early on in the innings, just losing the skipper. I think he'll knock it around to the gaps. So, I'm going to see if Head does change the field. Required rate up to 9.4. Key player now, Curtis Patterson. So, good work in the field there, backward point. Ingram. You look, you look at the Thunder batting line, not a lot of experience to come. Mm. Ben Roar. Ben Roar has got ben experience, Roar. sorry. Arjun Nair played well. Blizzard, then you get into, the, you know, the, Chris Green is not a bad player, but you feel that it's got to come from probably Patterson or, or Gibson. So one wicket and four runs from the eighth over. Two for 50. Best odds on all English football, you get more with Betfair. More edge of the seat action. More drama. More control. And more last minute winners. Get more from Betfair with the best odds on all English football. Are you ready for more? He stays with it. A quick leggy. He looks defensive to me. I reckon you could bring the field in. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't know much about him. He would have watched a bit of footage, but not like facing someone in a game. Oh, I'd, have, I'd have mid wicket in at least. Stop the single. The easy single. Well, it was the wrong one, but he dragged it well wide. Good work by Carey. That was great work, wasn't it? He almost looks like Robocop there, <laughs> Alex Carey. <laughs> lid on. It's a, yeah. Happy He's a strong helmet. fit boy. XAFL. Yeah. GWS, GWS. boy, was he? That looked like the wrong one. Oh, direct hit. Nah, it's all good. Look like the Bosey. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get called that a lot, does no. it? No, I like the Bosey. Googly. Googly. Wrong one. What else? Some many balls that have Tuttle three one. terms for it. <laughs> Tuttle one. It? In the north of England, isn't it? Tuttle one. Ball Tuttle one. Ooh. Talking of the north of England, our... 104 uh, kilometres, that one. <laughs> that looked quick. That looked like a bouncer. Wonder, wonder if it was a flipper. Now, uh, co-commentator for a few games, Michael Vaughan from the north of England. He's, I think he's um, attempted to, to do a, a backyard legends feature tonight so Is we'll he? keep our eye out see if he sent it in well he's got the poshest northern accent i've ever heard <laughs> michael vaughan <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real yorkshire accent at all now what we'll see what he sent in whether he's batting or bowling he showed me some clips of him batting facing michael caswich in a Back charity game Barbie. no it wasn't oh. in a charity game got got a hold for a couple of times there, for six drag down again oh rashid I'm just working in singles. They won't mind that, the strikers, because this run rate's just creeping up. It's up to nearly 10. Someone's lost their, uh, their jelly beans out there. Tonight. They're not counting very well. It's <laughs> a <laughs> one ball to go. They're trying to bluff the umpires. Alex Carey running through as if it's the end of the over. Just had little rocks, didn't they, the umpires <laughs> in the club cricket? Put the rock in the other hand. <laughs> So good over there. The second for Rashid Khan. 
Just five runs from it. Nine gone, it's two for 55. So much more rugby coming your way on BT Sport. Oh! Worcester in Rapture. Brilliant. That is artistic. The Australian walks in through. What a finish. It was all a little bit too easy. The most sensational of finishes. Very Merry Christmas to you all. Continues, tries to get a bit of width. Just Patterson, he gets a big, thick outside edge. It should be kept to two. Junior, one of, another one of our co-commentators, Mark Howard. He's got a very popular podcast out these days, doesn't he? The Howie Games, yeah. and I believe yeah. today released. The one featuring yeah, okay. none other than... Yeah, good one. Ooh. Emmy Ward. There we go, we get a few likes. Oh, that's hit well through cover. Yeah, a but, couple of uh, months ago, yeah, that yeah. one. Wells gets around for two. Yeah, what? I think they're more downloads. <laughs> oh, I like it. They're downloads. <laughs> but you're downloads a very, or you are a very, you're a very private man. How did Howie actually well, just get you to, like, what sort of way? It's the pressure, because he's such a nice guy, Howie. Just, yeah. How many times? Like if you say no, he'd, he'd go and cry. Yeah. How many times? <laughs> how many times did he broach the subject with you? <laughs> He, he broached it last summer, and I was just too busy then again. <laughs> you can only wave him away. Yeah. So the second time times. would have been a bit more apprehensive, would it? Oh, no. So we'll sneak one in, yeah, we, when we get a spare moment along the summer. And, um, and he got you. We do it. We did it um, when I was in Melbourne with our warm-ups, Channel Ooh, 10. Yeah, shot. that's right. That's a nice shot. A couple well, of days down there. Yeah, and you're a very humble man, too. He, he did tell me, he gave me a little insight. I haven't heard the actual podcast yet. You can get it on Podcast One or Apple store where you download the podcast a humble man he said you only mentioned that at primary school you're only in three junior state teams yeah tennis soccer cricket, cricket. yeah well he asked me <laughs> <laughs> oh that's oh. confident blow there that's gone well back and it's the first boundary for a little while and it's first boundary in three overs and it's a six well done curtis patterson he's 39 from 31 so he's actually starting to to get a wriggle on, Ooh. and he's starting to dominate. Good shot to Slog Sweep. We've seen that shot a fair bit tonight. It's been it's been executed well at times, and other times not so well. But that's the short boundary. It is the short boundary, but 86 metres. That's going to be a six on most Gus grounds around the world. I imagine Gus will love that one. But here, what will he come with? Short, yeah, smash, good fielding. Um, me too here. I reckon they might get two. Yeah, good run. That'd be a good, good run now. Uh, that hit that. Well done, so. A very productive over there for the strikers. Halfway mark, they're two for 69. Hurry, the EasyJet sale is now on. With up to 20% off 250,000 seats. And up to 20% off 250,000 package holidays. Don't miss out. Book now. Why not? Package holidays at all protected. Show us what you've got. Backyard Legends tweet or Instagram, hashtag Backyard Legends. Get your videos in. Here's our first little entries for the evening. Oh, oh, oh. look at that. He's mowing the He's driveway. He's mowing the cement. He's mowing the cement, but he got the catch. <laughs> Tell you what, the little fella's not happy about being dismissed there. Watch him when he gets back here. Oh, the backhand uh, flick as well. How good was that? Oh, he can't believe it. We'll have a look at a few more here. Rashid Khan continues from the cathedral end. Two overs, three dots, none for 16. Yes! Oh, big neck and gone. Beautifully taken by Alex Carey. He's off. Rashid Khan. He's gone. Makes his first big impression in this BBL. That was a loud nick, wasn't it? Really loud nick. Well bowled to it. Encouraged the cover drive. A little bit of bounce. A little bit of turn. Gibson on his way, but nice hands as well. Carries look really, really good behind the stumps on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Just straight Nick. Nick straight away. And he's doing the aeroplane. Rashid, his first wicket in the big bash. Oh, he loves it. And the keepers love them as well. Only <laughs> a little aeroplane. Just a little one. Not the shy back to our aeroplane, but still an aeroplane. Big wicket for Ryan Gibson for four. Three for 69. The 
the experienced Ben Rohrer out with it all to do for the Thunder. He's facing it. A leg spinner that he wouldn't have seen a great deal of. Rashid Khan. Under the pads. He likes to bowl a nice tight line to the left-handers. Mm. Like that delivery just to cramp them up. But he's got the slip in play. So again, be wary of the leg spin. Uh, the wrongen. It was a leg spinner that brought the downfall of Gibson. And he's getting some fizz at 95k an hour. Oh! No answers did Rora have. He's off and running again, Khan. Two in the over. Oh, yeah, that is a crack. <laughs> Sorry, from that is a cracking delivery. The wrong and pitches middle of the leg. It's the top of off at 93 kilometres per hour. That's unplayable. Imagine copping this first ball. It is the Bermuda Corridor on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. When he bowls there, batsmen disappear. What a cracker. <laughs> Look at full then spinning away. That's a bigger aeroplane. Yeah. He's going business class, <laughs> Rashid. Picked up a couple. Roar out first ball. And the Thunder, they're in trouble. Four for 69. Whenever muscular pain strikes, I believe gel is clinically proven to work as fast, as powerfully, and as effectively as ibuprofen pills. Right at the point of pain. I believe Max Strength Gel. There's no stronger ibuprofen gel to fight pain. She's that late Oval's alive now. The oh, yeah. crowd are up and roaring flags are floating around. And Arjun Nair comes to the crease. Four for 69 all of a sudden. Rashid's bowling. Hand grenades. Oh. Whoa. Always like seeing the spinners bowl and bat against each other. Yeah. Particularly when they've got a bit of, you know, some special youngsters. deliveries Both too. Youngsters too. Varieties. See what, if he gets another one here, he's going to run to North Adelaide. He'll run out of the stadium here, can't. Yep. Shorter. Look for two there. Yeah, good running. He'll be home. Oh. I think uh, Carey broke the stumps there. Just his work's been good tonight. Gilles that was yeah. beautifully Looks taken. very good. That, uh, that dismissal of, of Gibson. Even that just then, he just blew a whistle. <laughs> just hit the stumps before the ball came. But took the ball well. Tell you what, it's a quick leg break, isn't it? 100 kilometres an hour. Fizzy oh. off. Imagine a wicket that's actually providing spin and inconsistent bounce. After 11 overs, 4 for 71. Well, boys, in his, uh, the next Backyard Legends instalment of the trampoline. There's always some classics there, isn't there? <laughs> what could happen? What could possibly happen? Oh, just a bit quick. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, through to the next door neighbours. And uh, what's this one is? Michael Vaughan, Paul Collingwood batting. If oh, you don't mind, that's his son Archie out there. He's <laughs> taking the catch. To celebrate. And look at all the uh, children there <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> nice in the backyard. Oh, that's God. Paul Collingwood batting. He's out here with the England team in their support staff. Ooh. That's a thick edge. I'm not sure if it hit Kerry's glove or not, but it's gone away for a couple. So a bit of luck for Patterson, who's looking to hit over cover. And guys, that one from Vaughney. There's a collection of kids. There's Archie, Gemma, Tallulah, Lucas, Sandra, Olivia, Shannon, Hannah, and Kira. They were all the, the kids in there. And a combination of Paul Collingwood's kids and Vaughney's. That's shot. welcome runs to the Thunder. That gets to the boundary. It's a nice shot for Patterson. That takes him up to 47. I think like the one. feature, just Come looking on. at this one, boys. Oh, oh, got him, Paul he was a double centurion out here. <laughs> That's down the way to celebrate. The girls That's good wonderful. celebration. A number of those girls, they're, they're mad cricket fans. They say that they took up cricket when the England women's team won the World T20. Just shows you the Very effect that T20 cricket and the promotion of the women's nice game is doing and the effect it's having on young girls all around the world. So Mind thanks, Vaughn. And... Uh, Bad luck, Collie. Well, You're on your bike. That You're feel, out. That field setting looked like the Poms in Australia in Perth, didn't it? <laughs> <around the back. laughs> to Stephen Smith. <laughs> oh, they were everywhere. No, no. We were bowling then. Jake Ball. 
Okay, Ajunair, the hero from the first match of the season. Can he get into his work? Very risky, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Well, that run rate's just over 10 now, 84 from 50 needed. So this is the, the crucial part. It's just that uh, Nair batted well there the night. Looks a busy player. Patterson's found his rhythm as well. Oh! There's that slog sweep. Nearly bowled him. Sheik Khan's only got one over, so that's the good news for, yep. the, for the Thunder. Two's the call. Running hard. Not two. Yeah, insensibly sent back by Curtis Patterson. So it's building here for the Thunder. 12 gone, it's four for 81. Join the TV advertising revolution. Search Gorillascope. My perfect burger, yeah. Bread. Yeah. Burger. Yeah. What's that cheese? Halloumi. Another beef burger. Avocado. Egg. Bit of bacon. Another burger. Egg. Yeah. Another burger. <laughs> Love takeaway. Tap the app today at hungryhouse.co.uk. Hungry house. That's incredible. And on the back of that Michael Vaughan clip, look at this. You can play the WBBL fantasy game. Daily cash prizes up for grabs. $10,000 prize for the major winner. That's not bad. Fantasy.bigbash.com.au. That's where you can go. Terms and conditions apply. But uh, the Rebel WBBL. What a fantastic league. And oh, look at that young girl. She's enjoying a Big Bash cricket. And up Bush City Limits. <laughs> Bit of Tina Turner going around. Billy's back. He swung around at the cathedral end. A little bit of pace on the ball. Nair accepts bounce. it. Isn't that the extra bounce? It bounce. It felt like Nair was just going to hit that square and then the extra bounce he can just had to open up the face really, really late. A ten and a half required. It's not out of control by any stretch of the imaginations. Just keep an eye on that. Curtis Patterson has just started to get a little bit of a wriggle on. Got himself to 48 with just 35 balls. So he's done well to recover from a somewhat slow start. I think he's crucial now, isn't he, June? Yeah, he's going to bat through. If he bats through, the Thunder can win. If he doesn't, I'm not so confident. Mid-off up. <laughs> not going to get it over mid-off to that delivery, hey? Yeah, Thing short. is, for Billy, he doesn't have to bowl too short yeah. to get it up there. It's almost short of a length. But he has tested it out now, so I expect if he does bowl another one, he'll get his length right. And it's not an easy shot to play against someone with that height and pace and bounce. Eighty-one from forty-seven. Tries to give himself some room. The crowd there applauding. Just the dot ball. They're staying involved. Yep, yeah, they're on the on yeah. the edge of their seat. Big Billy, he'd be nasty on the whack. With a lot of focus in the Test match, just completed over there about the cracks on the wickets and how they came into play, particularly late day five. Hazelwood, Stark, really got them into the the cracks that had opened up. Ooh. Oh, chance! Oh, beautifully gosh. recovered there. Peter Sill. Well, he got the big breakthrough wicket earlier on, and he makes another impact in this game. Five down the Thunder. Jeez, that's huge. That was struck very firmly by Curtis Pazin. Got to count himself unlucky. That's a great catch on the Bunningsworth head. Oh. Three, but that's gone very, very quick. And Peter Siddle's just parried it up. He's had enough force in his hands to make it just go up and not behind him. What a great catch. Big, huge wicket. Yeah, Addison, I just said we need... He'd be pretty happy through. with the way he hit that, though, but he's got to go for 48. It's 5 for 83. We can cross continents and time zones at the mere touch of a button. The moment the game changes is the moment we see it. I miss nothing. We are members of the world's favourite online sports betting company, and we gamble responsibly at Bet365. 
Stephen Blizzard featured in a match-winning partnership right at the back end of game one against the Crosstown rivals, the Sydney Sixers. He's out there with a lot more work to do tonight. It is in partnership with Arjun Nair. Can they do it for the Thunder again? It's at the non-striker's end. So I was just saying, yeah, Big Billy, he would have been handy on the on the whacker wicket there with uh, all those cracks opening up. And it was uh, after this delivery, if nothing too much happens. We'll have a look at our last Backyard Legends video. And interestingly, they sent in the top of the email to said, you think the cracks at the whacker were big? Shot. Sure. Heaved into the leg side. And they'll get back for a second. Oh, wow. Good bit of work there. That's what I think. Cruz can tie. Let's see what they sent in. Let's have a look, Gilly. Ask about backyard legends. Oh, what stands out there is he's collapsing on the back leg, <laughs> so that's why he's bowling round arm. <laughs> you see every crack, and it can really affect you. Just look how wide they are. Oh, yeah, he's going to oh, have to dear. get more stable on release there. That's right. Good bit of umpire cam work too, wasn't it? Well, <laughs> it's a successful over for Stanlake. After 13, the Thunder in trouble, 5 for 85. <laughs> struggling at five for 85 in a lot of trouble. Curtis Patterson was the last man out. He made 48. Curtis, it looked a great batting deck going in. Is it a, a little bit better, uh, not quite as good as what we thought it was, or is it just a matter of the bowling is, is quite good? Uh, no, I think it's quite a nice wicket again. Uh, I think it's probably quickened up a little bit since they since they batted, but uh, I even thought their score was probably a little bit under par. It's a pretty standard Monday Adelaide over wicket. The spinners did a great job for you guys, and, and they're doing a great job uh, for the strikers as well. The, the spinners already in the first four games just seem to be doing fantastic, and, and Australian batsmen are struggling playing spin. Yeah, we are. I guess you know we're not used to fast, fast wrist spinners, that's for sure. So uh, Rashid's bowling really well out there. He's obviously got a, a good wrong in, and for most blokes, it's the first time they're seeing him. So um, hopefully, we'll gain some experience and play him a little better next time. Aiden Blizzard at the crease now, and obviously he's got some firepower. But uh, I mean, what, what's left to come as the we see the ball skied up there and chance for another wicket here for the strikers. The catch is taken and Aiden Blizzard is out. Curtis, thanks for your time. Well batted. We'll go back upstairs. Yeah, thanks, Rigewell. A huge blow again. They're just losing wickets too regularly out of the Thunder. Blizzard looking to get that to the leg side. Benny Lachlan on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Just took a little bit of pace off it and the captain settled underneath it. Fist pumps all around. The crowd went up, willing this home team on to victory. Blizzard goes for two, six for 87. Quiff, the betting app where every time you place a bet, your odds might get quiffed. But how does Quiff work? You're placing a bet with normal odds, and suddenly your odds might get supercharged from four to one to 40 to one. Yeah, it happens, like Adam from Clitheroe. He placed a bet on PSG to beat Celtic and got his odds supercharged from 11 to 8 to 80 to 1. His five pound bet won him 400 pounds. It's perfectly normal until it's quiffed. It's been a collapse of four for 18 off the last 20 deliveries. That's why Chris Green is out at the non strikers end. He scored last year at 153. Runs per 100 balls. We need some of that tonight. Nair facing Lachlan. Good changes here. Smorgasbord bowling, Flemo. It is. I don't mind him starting up with slide balls now and when they're behind the game, the Thunder, in the 14th over. He should be able to close it out. But for your boys, June, seen Green bat well at times. Got a little bit of power there. Nair haven't found the boundary yet, but he's been working him around. Got well, to find, find the boundaries pretty soon, well, though. We're in trouble, yeah. You're right. Six for 88. Mitchell McClenaghan can, can whack it, so he's in the shed, but these two are going to have to do the bulk of the scoring. They're just 
going to have to get a partnership together, aren't they, in the next three or four overs? Oh, yeah, that's it. So I thought it might have been sliding down live, but Greg Davidson's given it out. It was full and fast by Lachlan. Just starting to tail in a bit as well. No, that looked the long way of liquidation. Okay, straight away. It was quick. It actually looked like it was tailed in a little bit too. He's quicker balls. So the Bunnings Warehouse replay is tailing in. Middle on leg. See you later. So all the varieties on display from Ben Lachlan, starting with that slow ball, and isn't he pumped? He knew straight away, as soon as that was hit on the pads, he'd be getting a wicket. First ball on his way green, and it's seven for 88. With the best odds on all English football, you get more with Bat Fan. More edge of the seat action. More drama. More control. And more last minute winners. Get more from Betfair with the best odds on all English football. Are you ready for more? Harvey Norman Hawkeye. And there it was. It was heading towards the leg stump, but it just. Little problem there of clipping middle on the way to the leg stump, Junior. So yeah, I thought it was leg stump. Rolling. I didn't think it was in the middle, but it doesn't really matter. Middle of the leg. Mitchell McClanagan. Hawkeye still sitting middle, so we'll accept that. Suspect that he can hit a big delivery. Strong boy. He's got the caginess of Lachlan to deal with. <laughs> oh, no. What's that done? It's out. Is that out? It's out. Yeah. Chipped it up. Massive slow. Oh. Chipped up. He's on a hat trick. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a dismissal like that. And he dropped one that went straight in the air like that. And we saw a bit of argy bargy on the field. But Ben Lachlan's now on a hat trick. Oh, he's a good bowler, Ben Lockman, in this format. That was held right back in the palm of his hand. The Bunnings Warehouse replay just chipped up by McClinigan. And uh, good evening. It's an ugly dismissal. Lockland's pretty happy with it. Well, it's three for one of four balls of thunder. The game's going very quickly. All the eights. Eight for 88. Strikers end, so it's Arjun now on strike. Still three out on the leg side. What does Benny Lachlan dish up here, Flynn? I reckon the ball to Green, fast reverse in swing Yorker. Hat trick delivery. Oh, he goes right at the base of the stumps. It was on the money. Just a little bit over pitched. And I'll be doing it to Farwet as well, but it's the end of the over. A cracker from Ben Lachlan after 14 and take for 89. Match day's my favourite day. Despite all of these bums in my face. The same are coming through! And the clueless steward clearing the way. We've cleared the way for you to join Paddy's Rewards Club. Just place five bets of £10 or more in a week and you'll get a free £10 bet the next week. At least we got the best seats of them all! That's the spirit Paddy Power, you beauty! A little bit of something out of Mark Ward's wardrobe there. Never, I've never seen that. dancing like that to Hell's Bell Rashid by Khan, ACDC. Back on. <laughs> but Rashid, back on, Gil. Um, his first three balls, none for nine. His last 15 balls, he took two for nine with eight dots. Wow. He changed the game. And he's got forward Ahmed on strike. No slip. Quiet at this point. Ooh, that might change See, the I, thoughts. I only put a slip in on the bat pad, Lex. Because mm. you'd mean, think the wrong one's going to come and a big sure inside gonna, edge or a glove. I'm not sure if I was going to carve him up over mid off and mid on. I think we're seeing some changes made here. Got to have a slip, at least. Yeah. So you'd leave that mid wicket open and tempt him to slog out there, wouldn't you? Can he slog? 
Bowen. He's not the worst, is he? Oh, he's a sweeper. He's... It'll be a wide one, it? It was called straight away. Game's changed. It's been a big turnaround. Four, five overs, isn't it? Six for 22 off 4.1 overs. 4.2 overs, sorry. So that's a massive swing. Yeah, Shane Watson was the big wicket. Uh, one for 46. Yeah. And Watson obviously was man of the match the in the first game of 77. Came on. First ball, he took it, that option to take on the big boundary. Well, you've got to back yourself, back your strengths, but. Yeah, that didn't work out tonight. Oh, that's well bottom. Good take by Kerry. And Patterson's dismissal. He was, you know, that was still a chance when Patterson was at the crease. That was a very good catch. I'll tell you what, he's happy with that delivery. It zipped off, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Take by Kerry. Yeah, he's Imagine having a tough, bit of a smile as well. Yeah, tough it'll be for Kerry zipping through it. 90, well, he's looked very good K's. behind the stumps. Catch! Catch it was the call. Falls well, short, falls well short. That was a chip through mid wicket to long off. Yeah. <laughs> so he hasn't learnt this action out of the textbook, Flem. It's probably just bowling in the, the villages in Afghanistan, probably. Yep. Just playing a lot of cricket. Yep. Oh, Ooh, that that's well was played. Tight. <laughs> yeah. So he finishes his four over spell. Rashid Khan, four oh, overs. Oh. Half of his deliveries were dot balls, two for 22. Very well bowled. He's going to be a handful in this competition, Flemo. Yes. Yeah, that one was even a bit slower, but it turned in a mile. Sydney Thunder have a lot of fans around the back foot in this one, but they've been banging their buckets, June, and they're we leading in the support. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's a <laughs> commanding win. Look at this work by this <laughs> fella. It's a dab fest. Yep. Great to see the kids enjoying it. A lot of action on and off the field. Ben Lachlan, he's providing a lot. Oh! oh he's the type of bowler get a lot of court and bowls. Yeah. You know, with that change of pace, and, and obviously he's very agile, very good in the gully. Getting through these overs. Well, he tries to go big, it's straight up in the air, backing back at short, fine leg. Dean, oh, he had it, and it fell out. Oh, no. He's hurt his shoulder. Clutching his shoulder. Billy's not too worried. <laughs> Can't see him there. Fell heavily there, John O'Dean. No, he's okay. Tough catch, wasn't it? Yeah. He's got the wrong side of the ball there, didn't he? It's actually amazing the ball got there. If yeah. where your fielding position, you wouldn't think you'd get an aerial catch like that. So with these big peaks on these caps, that's not an easy catch when it gets <laughs> up in the air because the peaks are they're huge. <laughs> Every run's vital for the Thunder because run rate, that run rate comes into it, doesn't it? The back end of this yeah. tournament. Yep. Get teams level on points. So they need to chip away here, the Thunder, and try and eke out another 30 runs. I don't think they can win it, but we'll take another 30. It'd be a good win from here. It'd be a great win. 15 and over with two wickets <laughs> in hand. <laughs> Never she know. changes here. Mid off comes up. up. Gilly got to talk it up. Yeah, yeah that's right. Well. Too clever, but oh. it gets through the keeper. The tunnel ball, we've been wrapping him all Four. night. Yeah, he's done very well. He did try to get down behind it, but again, it just, I think it just checked in the surface again. Back down 108 k's an hour. Brings up 100 for the Thunder. Stump camp. Yeah, just well, spun a little bit. Doesn't bounce, does it, because of the, the sand the sandy base. The surface. Oh, just outside the line, maybe. Lachlan doesn't think so. That's, that's a brave one. shot, isn't it, from the number 10? He likes that shot, though. Yeah. That's his go-to shot. The, uh, that was the quickie orca, though. Shot. If it was the slow ball, it'd be all right. Paddle. That's his no, you've got to play to your strengths. That's what you've always said. Yeah. Have a look at this. Just a little paddle. That's actually the right shot to play. But you're supposed to use your bat. Oh. Helps. Helps. Just outside that wasn't line. out. No, not out. Oh, that's big hit. It's a big boundary. Six. It gets there. It's a lusty blow. Yeah, John O'Wells, he didn't know where the boundary was there. He was trying to get himself right to the back of the ropes and then jump up. But good strike from there. First boundary, a six. Tomorrow night, 
Renegades. The Renegades, their first home game at Etihad Stadium, they're taking on the Brisbane Heat. So both these teams got off to a terrific start in their campaigns for this edition of BBL. Chris Lynn, will he be there? He missed the opening game. It's only on Network 10. 7.20, daylight saving time. It's the first delivery. So join us a little earlier on that. Check your local guides. Peter Siddle back into the attack. He bowled beautifully early. Two overs, eight dot balls. One wicket for just four runs. So he'd love to finish this off. His first game for the Adelaide Strikers. He was fast on the money. Let's see how he goes here. Bowling to forward our man. Slower ball to Nick behind. It's his second wicket. Well bowled, a change of pace. Bringing Carey into the game. He's had a wonderful game behind the stumps and with the bat. But this is just a celebration fest for the Adelaide Strikers players and the fans. And it smiles all around, isn't it, for Peter Siddle? Just rolled his fingers across it on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Oh, he's Carey. Ball's been making a wonderful sound, going deep into his gloves. Beautiful catch off the spin of Khan earlier. Supports his quick bowling teammate. Fahad Ahmed goes just for one, five deliveries. It's never going to be up to him to hit the winning runs. Should have been done at the top of the order. So just one wicket in hand now. Fekety comes to the crease. Siddle, he'll want one more to close out what's been a dominant display by the Adelaide Strikers. Dominant, all right. And well in front, 57 there from the Thunder. They need to, they need to eke out some runs. Let me get that, that run rate a bit closer than... Yeah, yeah, you don't want to have a shocking no. loss. Yeah, you know, even batting out the overs and getting a run of ball would help. Slow leg cutter again. Nice drive from Fekety. Happy with that one? Yeah, I just thought nice for number 11. No run. Not the worst number 11. So uh, for Sids, though, I, I'd be going fast and direct. Nipping back into the pegs. Yeah. The full length. Well, I got this pitch wrong, I thought. <laughs> well, you said 171. 163 has been enough. 171, yeah. Yeah, you did. A couple of times. I think, to be fair, the pitch has been very good. Very good batting pitch. Well, it's turned a little bit more than I thought. Curtis Patterson said he said it much, was. didn't he? Yeah. In his interview with Roger, he said, yeah, look, it's, if anything, it's quickened up a little bit. Just with the evening air yeah. and, the, and a little bit of dew around, but it's certainly uh, proved difficult against the spin bowling. Yet another big bash game this season with uh, some quality spin bowling to make inroads into opposition batting lineups. A lot of leg cutters this over. And if you his full pace delivery. And another one. He, he needs to change up, doesn't he, Siddle, if he's going to play T20? Because traditionally he's just to hit the deck. Yeah, but he's no doubt worked yeah, on it, though, that's hasn't good. he? Yep. I think his first wicket was a bit of a change of pace. Going with the slow leg cutter. I think he's got, always had a little bit of an off cutter. Anyone can but his strength has been, yeah, is that good length, quick and bouncy, hasn't it? Which he might do a fair bit with the new ball. And then change it up later on. Contact. Finally, Fekety. Just the one. It's almost like he's practice, practicing an in game. And <laughs> he's having a net session. bowl. But one of the great characters of Australian cricket. Was part of the whitewash four years ago in the Ashes. What an attack that was. Mitchell Johnson and Ryan Harris. Peter Siddle, Nathan Lyon. When do you pick the Boxing Day Test match team? Well, depends how uh, Mitchell Stark comes up, yep. I think, for him. So, Greg Chappell's selector on duty again. This All right. Test. He'll make the final decision, but we'll, we'll speak probably. Bruised heel. Forehand. Two runs from the 17th over. The Thunder in trouble, nine for 109. place to be in 2018. Your favourite bachelors and bachelorettes together in paradise. We're joined by the one and only Gordon Ramsay. A brand new comedy series hosted by me. I don't need me to tell you who I am. Ooh. Russell Coit 
Welcome back to him. A legend. Swell bowl. Push, push, push. It's a call. Got to come back. Oh, no. That's an easy two. Yeah, bachelor in Paradise, June. You reckon you go right there? Do you know what the concept there is? No, I wouldn't have thought so. I don't think I'm going to good no. <laughs> I think it's eight, eight bachelor entrants that didn't make... Since they didn't make the cut, didn't get the chocolates at the end of the show. <laughs> and eight bachelorettes all thrown together on an island. A second chance. A second chance. You're saying there's a chance. chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, not my cup of tea. No? Billy, I don't think. All right. Well, good show, though. You'll watch it, but oh, not yeah, to participate. Show. No. Good show. Oh, that's a good ball. Very good ball. He gets a tail back. Every game, doesn't he, with that? Well, he's got that slinging action that yeah. seems to really help our aid with that reverse swing. A little bit concerned about their overrate here, the strikers, aren't they? They can lose a bit of moolah, can't yeah, they? Well, teams fine Travis already. Head, Travis Head could uh, get suspended. Brendan McCullum last year missed a game on slow overrates. It was 44 players were fined, weren't they, in the first couple of games? I wonder if it's the coaching staff as well. Dizzy's looking a bit worried there. Dip into his pay packet. Straight up in the air, and it looks like last rights. And there you go, Colin Ingram backs back. His debut match for the Strikers. We didn't see his best with bat or ball, but will happily take that catch to win the game. Strikers open their account with a convincing 53 run victory. Now that's a huge win at home against Thunder. are coming off a good win against uh, the Sixers, but. The bowling are just too good. The spinners changed the game. Rashid bowled really well. Actually, all the bowlers bowled well, and the, the batting wasn't up to standard from the Thunder tonight. No, I thought 163 would have been tough to defend, but it wasn't just the spinners. I, I thought Siddle and Stanley, they really worked in the power play. They couldn't get off to a flyer. And then it was the spin, Rashid and Co. Travis Head picking up the big wicket of Shane Watson. So that is an excellent bowling and fielding unit by the Adelaide Strikers in front of a wonderful crowd again. I bet you it will be an even bigger next home game here at the Adelaide Oval. Wonderful effort in the field. Yeah, they tend to build here at Adelaide. We end up selling out near on 53,000 people. But, uh, it's a success straight away for the strikers. And downstairs, Roger Aldridge. Thanks, Gilly. Well, before he's heading off the ground, I've got a very uh, ecstatic striker skipper, Travis Head. Trav, what an emphatic win. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice to execute what we uh, we planned on, and uh, it's been a really good week and a half leading into this, so it's nice to get off to a good start, but um, I still think we've got some things to work on, which is really good going in the next game. Obviously, going in, it, it looked a really good batting deck. You guys struggled a little bit. They certainly did. Uh, is the batting something you really need to work on moving forward in this competition? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough wicket. It was actually held a little bit more than what we probably thought, and uh, we got starts and didn't go on with them, so I think well, myself and Kez probably could have got us a bit deeper and give us that opportunity to really dominate the end, but um, um, yeah, we probably just missed a little bit of a trick there, but we got quality bowlers, and, and, and Rash showed that tonight, and Benny, the side balls and the spin really worked well on the wicket. Yeah, the spin went fantastic, and obviously you came on and had an immediate impact with, with your little spinners, but Rasha Khan, obviously uh, his first BBL game, terrific, and uh, yeah, he, he's certainly got a, a nice little bag of tricks. Yeah, he has, and um, well, it's exciting. Um, Leg spins always played a part of the strikers, and um, he's just followed the trend. So, yeah, it's a great start for him, and, um, yeah, hopefully that continues. Benny Lachlan just keeps on keeping under this format, doesn't he? Yeah, well, perfect wicket for him. The cutters and, the, and then the pace on, um, yeah, it suited him terrific, and he, and he bowled extremely well. Might as well just wrap up one of the other, bowl, one of the other bowlers, Peter Siddle. Uh, his first T20 game in almost three years, and two for six off three overs. Not a bad return for the big fella. Yeah, no, he was outstanding. Uh, he's been really good during the week. Experienced player, and uh, showed that tonight with his skills. And what about leading this team? Obviously, you lead the South Australian Shield team. And now you're officially the captain of the Adelaide Strikers. Uh, you enjoy captaining the shorter formats? Yeah, well, first real experience of it. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to get off the board, on the board. And, um, yeah, it's a great challenge, um, I guess, you get to express how the way you want to play. And it's very attacking. And um, was able to do that tonight. It helps when the bowlers consistently take wickets. And uh, the start that we got in the first 10 overs is really good. A nice little Christmas present for you tonight with, uh, like we said, a very emphatic victory over the Sydney Thunder. Well done. We'll let you go and uh, enjoy the win. Cheers. Thank you very much. We had a very happy Adelaide Strikers captain, Travis Head. They were emphatic winners here at the Adelaide Oval against the Sydney Thunder.
On this Thursday's show, I'll be joined by Taekwondo world champion Bianca Walkton, Speedway superstar Ty Woffenden and Premier League legend Frank Lampard. The Claire Balding Show, this Thursday on BT Sport. Alphabetically on a BT bonanza, curry on a charge, deadly like the Bruyne. Equally heading, Frampton fighting, Griffiths golden, Houghton hoping. Incredible like he told Jay, Jackson jumping in his jersey. Contact kicking like Lewandowski, move mega like McGregor, Neymar by nature. Oversteering, OGA pause, quick like Ronaldo, Super 6 Sanchez. Tapebox, touchdown, trophies, tries, you go to Valentino. Woofy, X Games, Yankees, so sinners in, I don't give a damn.